Hello! Welcome to my group mic still being on. To Stanley Parable 2. Hello, everybody. Oh, it's so nice to have nearly 100 people waiting for you. We haven't even done anything. And it is the sequel to a stream of which isn't really what you're known for. So that means a lot. That really does. It really, I'm genuine. No, yeah, I'm genuine about that. I was going to say, I'm genuine about it. It's generous of you. I nearly mixed the words as I always do. Make a fool out of me. But welcome, all of you. I'm happy to have you here. I really am. I really do hope the chat's going to behave. And I don't mean you guys, you know, emotionally. I mean, I mean the stream just working. I mean the widgets here doing what they're supposed to do. I don't know if it's stream elements of YouTube. YouTube streaming's borderline in beta, so we'll just blame them. <laughs> we'll just do that. I'm happy to have you here. I really am. And yeah, I don't... Uh, comfy shirt. Don't really love the company anywhere near as much anymore. Falling out of love, but hey, it's comfy. It is comfy. Comfy! <laughs> can't speak, sorry. It is comfy. I, I like it. Uh, do not support that that stop that shop that storefront anymore. Considering they had a, a breach of information and decided to not disclose that for months, balls to them. Never supporting them again. One of the reasons I again don't really want to be wearing this publicly as if to promote it, but still it is what it is. Happy to have all you here. Uh, oh, for the love of the look. I don't know how long this is going to take to pop up. Going to have a whole conversation about the stupidity of you. There it is. Spending money on me in this degree when I've done nothing to deserve it. Thank you, Austin Mulvina. Us behave never. I haven't fixed the alerts on you, the scene. There's still mini. I've just remembered that. Thank you so much. So appreciate you, you generous bugger. Every damn stream, I do. I don't just, this isn't Fryzek. This isn't. This isn't like the thing. This isn't me doing Sonic new game. Ha ha glitch. This is me doing like a weird passion project type thing. Very grateful for you. From the anime, I did get sent us at last stream. If you're still looking for something to do tomorrow, Deep Rock Galactic has a Halloween event going for now. Oh, I'd want to do that when we're all together. I think we were enjoying that game, just not really sure how fully to take it. So I wouldn't want to do that on our own, just the two of us. Meanwhile, me and Luke continuing No Man's Sky, seeing as he's already burned ahead of me. It's a unique situation where Luke's the one in front. <laughs> also, I love you all, but I hate to ask, but it is that thing, that standard. I've got to ask. Could you please like the video? Just because, you know, statistically, likes tend to go up two to 500% when you acknowledge the button exists and ask for people to do it. I still don't know why. It's crazy. But thank you so much, Funny Yarnama. Thank you, Hansonos, for the five pounds. Shan't stop. I almost trip over myself. Look, the likes have doubled within 10, 20 seconds of me saying that. <laughs> That's a delay, dude. That's a delay. Oh, uh, dear. How much you want to bet we can vote next year for movie monsters and it will lose to something for... Oh, sorry, me brain. I thought you were about, like, voting for Godzilla. Uh, Destiny, a Halloween, a uh, festival of the cost armor sets. Uh, yeah, if I swear if monsters lose again, the Cyclops Titan was amazing. People said it looked bad. I wanted to fight them. I did. Uh, you're wrong. These mechs look like green Destination Titan armor. The Titan armor specifically looks like green Titan, the planet that's vaulted armor. I wonder if they bring that back. Because now they said they're getting rid of vaulting, it makes me wonder if they're going to bring it all back. Anyway, I'm not going to bore you about Destiny. We're not going to talk about that just for a moment because it took me off guard. I didn't know. I don't know what the hell people were talking about there. Uh, threw me for a loop. Uh, but cheers again for the support. You're all mental. You really are. I am exceptionally grateful for you. All the people I see subscribing lately as well. I, I'm, I'm grateful for that. Might be an attempt to get the sub boxes to maybe work because I know that for the most part they don't. So I'm very grateful for that. Oh, Mimic Box Prod. Stanley, number one, still hidden. Also, how YouTube streams. Um, oh, I see what you mean, because it's supposed to be uploaded on here. Yeah, um, if memory serves, it should be unlisted, and it should be in a playlist. I might not have added it to the playlist. Oh, I was supposed to add a tag, and then it'd automatically find it and do that. That's on me, I forgot. Um, but it'll be uploaded... Tomorrow? I think. I think it'll be uploaded tomorrow. On the VOD channel, so don't worry, it's... If I still forget again, it'll be available on the actual proper VOD channel for actual traction of it to gauge interest and see. That's, that's, that's how I, I gauge if people want to see more of it, whether or not that works. Immediately, whelp, bye. I'm confused. Why did you come here? Anyway, uh, where'd be the playlist? Uh, I think at some point... Oh, no, yeah, I ended up not... Basically, right, what I've done is I've made the playlist for the VOD channel on the main on the main page. It'll be available tomorrow. From Starting next week, because we've got the weekend to catch up, starting next week, VODs will be available the next day after. That's it. 
Oh, you're gonna sleep. Oh, enjoy your sleep. <laughs> yeah, time zones suck. This will be vodded. Yeah. Uh, starting next week, things will be vodded the next day. Apologies about the problem of it not being that way this week. Had a weird situation trying to get everything cleared and approved and sorted and working. It's a big pain in the butt. But thank you. All of you. Oh, appreciate the holy happy handshakes out of you for being here. I'm going to start this pretty dang soon. <laughs> I'm just trying to make sure that I've got everything set up. I had a real stream nightmare today. <laughs> Changed some things. Things broke. Didn't go necessarily entirely 100% well. Only threw up, excuse me. But you've all been doing good since last. I had a good Tuesday. <laughs> Except for when I started playing Destiny and everything on it broke. <laughs> even though it's a yearly event now, uh, all the problems it had last year happened again this year. Isn't that fun? Oh, and Twitch hasn't changed a thing. Twitch is uh, sticking to the guns of taking even more money from the people that actually are the reason that anyone uses their website. They are sticking to their guns of spamming ads. Luke today. <laughs> uh, I can't remember what channel it was. Not that it really matters, respectfully. Uh, and he had a ad listing of one of nine. <laughs> one of nine, everyone. <laughs> Uh, you convinced that the EDZ Haunted Lost Sector doesn't exist? I've already got on it. And I've barely played it. I've played a total of three of them. I already got it. <laughs> Sorry, Mika. Yeah, the Nessus one makes me sleep. Dude. <laughs> makes me sleep. Oh, man. Also, genuine question. How many people here, not massively always, but somewhat regularly, play No Man's Sky? Because I'm curious. That is a game that, like, completely restructured, imagined, and designed its entire image and game, for for that matter. So, yeah. I'm just curious how many people are still playing it. No Man's Sky. It's, 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 it's see, the sort of, somewhat. Well, that's the type of answer I keep seeing, because it is one of those things. You maybe play for a weekend, come back in another month, if you're somewhat interested, but when you, when you love it, you're on it every bloody evening. I was just curious, because we streamed it today on Terrible TV. <laughs> Sick plug. <laughs> YouTube.com slash at uh, Terrible TV. Uh, yeah, loved it. Uh, I'm a big fan. I can't believe Dave and Luke are both, like, borderline getting addicted to it. Borderline, not entirely, not massively, but, you know, when you stream 30 minutes later than you usually do, when you were aware of what the time was at 5 o'clock. 10 soon, in fact. It's a good sign. I just, just wanted to know. I'm just curious. I'm, I'm just, that's it. <laughs> that's it. I just wanted to know. I, I'm, I'm a big fan of the game. I, I am. I'm enjoying it a fair bit. Mm, I can't believe it's still getting updated. Six years, and the game's just still being updated. And it's not got microtransactions or DLCs, last I checked. Correct me if I'm incorrect. Uh, remember when YouTube tried to do the 8 to 9 ads thing and immediately backpedaled, calling it a test? I actually don't. I remember for a while, I got one of two where the first ad was 5 or 15 seconds and the second one was maybe 30, but the second one was skippable, but the first one wasn't. I don't know. I don't know if that's what caused it. I mean, if, that's, if that's what you're talking about and that's all I got from it. I do remember that, yeah. But or at least I remember that bit of it. And I've had YouTube Premium for a while, so... Might have just missed it and never seen it. Are we going to play Ultra Kill? Uh, I've already got a vote up. If you were to uh, search Tier of Disgrace, maybe Tier of Grace as well, but just to be sure, Tier of Disgrace, uh, Ultra Kill, you would get a vote of it. And I know, you know, it's fair. That's not a video video. Oh, bloody hell. That's how I know I've been here 10 minutes. <laughs> uh, that is um, not a game I got along with greatly. Got my ass kicked. Massively. Massively. I want to try Cyberpunk again soon. I really do. Hmm. What the hell? They did nine ad tests somewhere in, like, Spain to test if they could do it in America and Europe. Dude. I know Americans, are, like, in terms of your TV ad breaks, can be, like, once every four to five minutes. I've tried watching Monday Night Raw once or twice. Pain. I'm, I'm aware of that, but you can't, like, no. Not, not digitally. You can get one ad every ten minutes. Maybe even every five. You cannot do multiple minute blocks of ads on the internet. You need to just intersperse them more regularly if you're going to do shit like that. You can't just do blocks of ads. It's terrible. Oh, shit. Uh, thank you, the gaming fish NJ, with the $5. We're loving your content. Shadow of Mordor. Figure since I have a little bit of cash. Spare it. Give it to one of my favorite guys. You can spend it on you, you know. 
Put it in the rainy day fund, the leaky ceiling fund, the broken boiler fund, the life is hard and you need it fund. I appreciate you very much, though. Cheers. Thank you very much. You should give one. Yeah, we've been saying that. The, the YouTube premium members should have, like, the equivalent of Amazon Prime. Twitch Prime. Yeah, I'm with you. That woke me up. And Salty Pepper, thank you for the two. How am I feeling? I'm fucking... My heart's racing. Thank you, Dribbin' Orc. Small tip, say thanks for keeping me smiling and laughing during the hard time of being... Oh, dumped. Kicked out of your slap fucking... That sucks, man. That really does. I, there's no words that are going to make that better, but hey. I'm wishing you the fucking best with that. There's not much I can do other than to pull a silly face and make a fart noise. Try and distract you for three seconds, which is most of this stream when it's when it starts fully. Thank you. Can't wait for more Four Souls. Oh, I'm looking forward to figuring out how to make stuff for that again. Failing that, we're always making stuff. Right? That Super Liminal video will be done one day, just as soon as... You know I said? I recorded a th uh, thingy on Monday. If you were there for that Monday stream. Like, every element of the story that I covered there, every single one of them, I need to re-record or record an extra thing for one of them. Every single one needs one of those. It's nuts! It's just nothing has slowed down. Rooster Teeth got so much worse. The Bayonetta thing ended up being a hell of a lot more multifaceted, potentially, but it's really hard to gauge it. It's like, oh, Platinum comes out. Shut up. Platinum comes out and they say, oh, but we were going to give them this much money per session. Four to five of them. But it's like, I don't know. What happened there? Are they really trustworthy Platinum in the past when they've constantly passed the blame and said some bullshit? It's really tough. It's tough just to know. That just needs more coverage and more detail on it, sadly. <laughs> Salty Pepper, I'm like, thank you for the two. Thank you for the two euros, I think. With a sticker, hey you. I still don't know what these sticker things are. Like, what the fuck? Paid emotes. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, where's this brick brack thing? I'm curious why you said that to them. Give me a sec. I'm not really familiar with how YouTube streaming works. Is there a way for me to subscribe to this channel the same way Twitch subs work? Or would it be better to help keep the Twitch sub? Yeah, there's the, the join button is the equivalent of the sub. Although there's like, you can you can make... Oh, I've still forgotten to do that. Sorry, everyone. Uh, you can make as many membership tiers as you want at whatever amount. I forgot to make the fucking one pound, one dollar um, member tier. Sorry. It's just been a week if there's been something else every single day. I'll, I'll hopefully do that. I'll, I'll be realistic by Monday. <laughs> Even though it takes no effort, I just keep forgetting. And I saw that Huel drink. You're drinking in the shops early today? They're only good. They're amazing. They're, 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 they're fantastic. Maybe like 70p a bit too expensive for the average person. You know, if you're going to have them regularly. But I think they're really good. I think they're really good. I'd recommend them heartily. I actually saw them in the... Yeah, I usually order these online or from, like, big supermarkets, but my local normal co-op had some. And I was like, what? Okay, cool. Also, I heard today some streamer, RuneScape streamer, is sponsored by Huel, so we're keeping the dream alive, right? Come on, you bastards. We've already got people talking about it here. Where's my fucking residuals? Oh, Jonathan Colucci, thank you for the subscription. Thank you for wanting to see more of this shit. Thank you. Hmm. Oh, and, um, where did it go? Kaiser. Guys, happy to hear it, my man. Happy to hear it. Wishing you the best in the future as well. Bloody hell. My final tip, thank you for everything. I haven't done that much these days. Everything? Thank you. Uh, you're awesome. So, <coughs> so are you. Love your mistakes. Cheers. Thank you very, very, very much. Yeah, I love it. I, I, meme aside of sponsoring me, I shouldn't speak about this for free. It's great stuff. It is. Helps the, the shit out. Like, it's like, oh yeah, it's your meal replacement. But it's also, like, got a bunch of the vitamins and nutrients and this, that, and the other. So, I'd, yeah, I think it's good. I think it's really good. I would heartily recommend it if you like me and you have a hard time in a normal work day finding time to cook a damn good meal and not just order a takeout or have some shit that's barely even close to it. You know, like, proper food. I'd recommend this a bunch. Well, there you go. Brick Brack immediately cashing in his money in the bank and subbing or membering, joining. Oh, and Sky Nerd as well, back to back. How did that happen? <laughs> what the hell? Cheers. <laughs> Thank you very much. Appreciate you for that. The Perrier. The number in the bottom right, that'd be the uh, member count. What the fuck is going on? Also thought you would find this funny. The paper towel dispenser where I'm working right now sound like you screaming in a mechanical way and it made me laugh. 
Yeah, but you're spending money, so... Good grief. <laughs> Calm down. What is this backlog? Good lord. All right, pants mode. Uh, five bucks is under four quid. I don't know where to force me to a bit fun of the news. How are you, big man? I'm all right. I'm wearing t-shirts these days because it's too cold. Been a minute. Touched Fortnite as of recent? No. I played this season like the first two weeks and haven't in ages. No major reason not to. I just haven't. <gasps> introduction, reintroduction of Horde mode is stupid fun as usual and the reintroduction of the fucking dot dot dot. Wolverine claws back into Battle Royale, but it has an omnidirectional through walls enemy reveal. Wow. Why? Lewis was an epic with just entirely balanced comp modes and quick player separately. That'll be good. I don't do anything competitive in Fortnite, granted. I turn it on every now and then, and it's like, okay, I'm gonna go fishing or some shit. I'm gonna go find all the NPCs and, like, not even play the game properly. <laughs> yeah. Not shocking that they put something busted in there again. Thank you so much, uh, Pants Mode. Uh, thank you, Batsy DeRay with a five. Uh, enjoy your vids, have fun. I hope you have fun having fun watching me have fun with my fun videos. <laughs> what the fuck is... I'm going to have a moment of silence right now. One, there's someone called Year One Gallahorn. I'm a destiny head. That pops me. Secondly, I can't show it, sadly. I really wish I could show it. There's a fucking <laughs> distorted picture of John Swan as, as the avatar. You know, for a moment, YouTube notifications were coming through instantly. Not anymore. I've had a whole conversation about Year One Gallahorn becoming a team player. I'm very grateful for you. Ah, uh, thank you. And it still hasn't popped up. <laughs> oh, a minute box as well. What's with all the members today? Like, was that was one person? Where were you? I've forgotten. A brick brack. Was it brick brack asking? How do you become a member or whatever? What's the equivalent? Has answering that question summoned the rest of you guys to do this shit? Or is it just a coincidence? Thank you, Mimic Box. Thank you, everybody. There it bloody is, by the way. Took a while. I seriously don't know what's wrong with it. I don't know whether to blame YouTube or Stream Elements. I don't know what he massively cares, but I've been on Stream Elements last for years for being bad. I just want to know if this one's their fault or not. Oh. Uh, still waiting on the next episode of Terrible. Who was responsible for those edits? We're waiting. What do you mean? I edit all. Anything on my channel, I've edited from now on. Me. Me, me, and only me. So I did it. Is that what you're asking? Or do you just. I don't know when the next one's going to bloody be. Oh, I really don't, but it's it's still me doing that shit. <laughs> oh, it's Big D, man. You've got a hell of a YouTube name. Didn't expect that one. That's a hell of a, hell of a crossover. What am I doing the Tearabite channel? Well, it could be for shorts. It was going to be for a podcast, but now I just don't know anymore. I am on the fence and unsure. You know, I'm realizing that a lot more people came in after 15 minutes where I usually schedule the stream to be live. I might be on me. Yeah, maybe people didn't realize that was 15 minutes early today. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna launch the damn game at the very least in the background because I don't know I feel like the uh, background noise of Stanley Parable is better than this I've realized that I should probably actually just download uh, uh, Or create a, a file a 10 minute 20 minute loop of that thing Because I really like the ambience of the, of the background of the menu a lot more than just we shop ad infinitum a uh, Kelson Avery with a membership as well what is going on? <laughs> Point proven. Point proven. Thank you, CB. Finally caught you, you big B word. Don't forget to pet a cat. Doesn't matter which one. I pet Pika uh, most recently. You are welcome. I don't know why it's asking me to put in the time again. This is weird. Why is it asking me to put in the time again? Weird. Hang on, hang on. Why? What do you mean, hang on, hang on? Hang on a moment. Nope. There's things happening at this moment. I, I, I need this. Give me a sec. This is part of the damn game, isn't it? This is, this is, this is official. Hang on, hang on. Before we get started, can I just say something? Thank you for actually setting the clock both times you've booted up the game. <laughs> a lot of people don't take that step seriously. Oh no! You're actually taking the time to set the clock. Okay. That's how I know that you care about this experience. Don't even have any way of knowing if the times you're setting are correct. I'll make you a deal. 
since you've been so cooperative next time you boot up the game and see the screen, just set the clock to your favorite time. Pick whichever time you want. Let you get back to the video game now. <laughs> right. This game is that meta. Before I even got to the main menu, it's memeing me. Anyway, I'm not starting yet. Little, that little shit just decided to try and hook me in immediately. I got shit to read. <gasps> Dying star with the $2. Splooning and God Kerbal Space having a blast. What is that about, dude? What is that about? What is that? Appreciate you very much, Dying Star. I enjoyed Kerbal Space Program while I played it. Pass mode, five o'clock. Uh, crashed again. We'll screen if this keeps up, either way. Hey, now, Schizo Epic is when it comes to the game balance, and don't even get me started on Save the World's complete lack of update balance. <laughs> Are you resin? Are you resin? <laughs> you and resin are getting along like a house on fire. Unless I'm insane and you're the same person, but I'm pretty sure that's not the case. I don't have, what endings have you gotten so far? Quite a few. Like, not, you know, massively. I don't think I've close to 100%ing by any stretch of the imagination. But I got a few. Did an escape pod. I got to button heaven. I've been put into the void in the abyss a few times. That's unsettling. Anyway, appreciate you all for those that do not know. Just because, you know, gotta say it every time. It's only fair otherwise. I don't want you to get, don't want you to get confused and misconstrued and don't know about it. Uh, whenever the gameplay screen is on, no alert to play. I can see it all. I'll be grateful. I'm gonna say thank you. But none of it pops open. And no, I didn't get the broom closet ending. I tried to do it. I couldn't figure out how to actually trigger the damn thing. Hmm. Sadly, I did not. i will actually just start playing now. Oh, no, I won't, because Ella Peter has become a member. What's going on all of a sudden? Like, why is today the membership day? Hmm? How's that a thing? I... <laughs> uh... Oh, you did trigger it. It's not a complete ending. Well, it shouldn't be called an ending, then, should it? It was a resin lull. I'll piss off. Hey, it finally came through. Thank you. Cheers. Payday? Question mark? Is it? Hmm. What the hell? Salty Pepper now also becoming a member. For the... You said you were done. You said you were... I need to figure out why this is weird and laggy. That's the joke. The broom closet ending isn't an ending. Why? You guys don't need to meme me on top of the game and memeing me. I can't deal with it. I guess the ending... Air quotes, is staying in there and never leaving. <laughs> you don't actually get to boot back to the menu. Hmm. <laughs> I appreciate this one. You have five classic endings left. Oh, battery low. Um, and the rest are all new content endings. I appreciate that. Genuinely, I really do. I don't mind being told that. Like, here's your progression. Your progress. Not spoilers. Oh, Brett, do this. Oh, Brett, do that. But instead, I'm still here. Ah, look, I'm here. I can show that because I'm not on Twitch. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Keep it like that. I'm proud of you. Set the standard. All right? We're not a car in need for speed. No pissing spoilers. Hello? Oh, excuse me, I've thrown up. <sighs> right. Seriously appreciate you all for the new memberships and everything today. Let me just go over it already, because this is insane. That is insane. Alright, you've already done nearly £100, just giving. And then there's seven new members as well. So, like, this is a repeat game stream. Those rarely do, like, pop-off numbers. And yet, in the first tw 25 minutes, that already. I do not deserve you. Right, I'm going to play the damn game, though. I, uh, I'm going to... Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. That's what I'm gonna. That's what I'm gonna do. All right. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna regret pressing this button, but here we go again. Wait, what if I click there? All right, now what is the point of this screen then? Surely there's something here I can click. Surely. All right, I overestimated you. The end is never the end, is never the end, is never this the is end. Story no! My inputs. Where's my input? Damn it! 
I'm not doing it again. All right. On principle, I am not. Anyway. Damn it. Damn it. All of his co-workers were gone. Oh, I'll beat what you up. What did it mean? Don't even start. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Yeah, perhaps this door will open one day. Oh, for the love of the Lord, as soon as I start the... D You're just testing me, aren't you? Xeus, becoming a team supporter. You bloody lunatic! Thank you. Thank you very, very much for that. You over-generous goose. What's I gonna do? No matter how hard Stanley looked, Shut up! he couldn't find a trace Get of out co-workers. of my head. I didn't welcome you. You are not an occupant, you're a squatter. I'm staying in here. Oh, and I, I guess this is where Stanley felt he needed to be right now. Yeah. In this little hallway. Uh -huh. Here, with no distractions, to study Oi. room 417. I've already not been to here. actually enter it. No, 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 no. That would be far Clarence! too forward. Stanley wanted to know it from the outside. Clarence! Ah. No, Stop! Apparently not. Clarence, why is there a new new? And I'm not talking about the Yeti from League of Legends. That game's more toxic than the than the contents of a nuclear power plant. Why? Is it Cyberpunk? Did they finish it? Is this the finished version in here? I'm not going there yet. You could eat my ass. Oh, for the love of the Lord! And also Austin Mulvini with the two dollars. So what's his name this time? Um, I don't know yet. <laughs> We'll see. <sighs> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. You know what? I don't think that I do. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. Of course it was Stanley knew it perfectly well. Oh, yeah. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Mm-mm. I don't, I don't need to talk ah, to you right now. Yes. That's truly it. Truly a room worth admiring. Shut but up. eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. I don't believe I've ever been down this door. Have I, Timothy? I'm gonna do it. I'm going in. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Opposite door? Why, does that, that just lead back? Well, it sure seems to, doesn't it? Well, I'd be a silly goose if I were to do that with a great big red button taunting me over here, just begging me to press it. What you got for this one, Timothy? You mad yet? You know, I could jump off maybe and kill my... ...self. Alright. And I might actually consider doing it. This. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. Huh. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um... Uh... uh da, 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 da. From here, it's, um... Left. Ah! But Timothy, this button still says it's going to go down. I mean, it isn't clickable, though, and you probably knew that, you absolute scallywag. So, you know, I guess I'll just go right. I... Assuming either of these would be kind enough to open. No rattle? No shake, rattle, and roll? Well, that one's got a shake, rattle. Why doesn't this? That implies that I'm supposed to be able to interact with this at some point, and I no longer can. I know the rules here, Tim. A thief. All right. I know them in full, like your name. Any, any, why? Why have you done this? Can I Mario 64 myself? Fragile. Like the narrator's ego. Oh, the door's closed. When did that happen? Uh, oh, well. Onward. Oh, no. No, it's to the right. My mistake. <sighs> what about that door? That door I couldn't click. That's gonna open too, isn't it, you son of a bitch? I can't even open this. I will spacebar your brains out. No, 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 not the right. Yep, I knew it. Why would I have ever yep. said it was to the right? Here it is. What was I thinking? Mm. It's clearly... Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? I have been. I, I, I have been holding on so long, my palms ache. Let's see, we went down right, <sighs> left, down, left... Sir, we went through an elevator. Yep, yep, okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This have you? story is absolutely, definitely this way. Well, I wasn't expecting that. You know, I'm still convinced it's this door. It makes no noise, Timothy. It's gonna close, isn't it? Oh. Well, I wasn't expecting that. What about this? What about that? What about anything, really? Can I get in this and kill myself? Just put a cinder block on the... on, on the go-forward? I can just lay down right here? 
Get my head aligned with that, and then bang. The dirt is gone. <laughs> my thoughts! <laughs> uh, well, down into the abyss. The abyss. The abyss with the... Oh, with the... Um, with the employees. And the numbers. I'm feeling lost, but I don't even mean lost, but there's... Oh, shit. Uh, fucking Xeus with five membership gifts. <laughs> Don't forget to calm down, you fourth wall breaking little slut. Thank you, though. Hello? No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're huh? not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. No, I've been here. Stanley, close your eyes. No. Okay, okay, I've, okay. I've been here, just narrator. Just it's not a spoiler, oh, it's a retread. It's a rewatch. It's rubbish now. The whole story. Wait, no, I'm not standing. Oh. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, uh -oh. we'll just restart the game from the beginning. No! And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Uh-uh. Okay. From the top. Don't you dead! <sighs> I've got to walk all the way back. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. No, I didn't. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I wish I'd missed your memo. Oh, I really do. I wish your mother missed your memo about your bloody delivery and it got left at the front door in the rain! Can't believe you. What? When Stanley... Wait. Wait. What? No, I... No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over. Completely fresh. Uh -oh. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? I thought I'd say so. Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? No. Did you move the story somewhere or a... Uh-uh. Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm uh. the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. Uh. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. It's that door, isn't it? Okay, then. It's an adventure. Uh. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. Oh, this is not like you at all, Timothy. So much so that your name's no longer Timothy. All right then, Bill. I... I don't really know which way to go. Damn. I... This... Oh. Well, this is nice. This is liberating, almost. Freeing, in fact. The hell is this? Everyone knows what you did, they're just holding back to let you torture yourself. It's just a pack of cookies! Uh... I'll say... Oh. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I oh, can promise off. you, there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game? Oh, here? don't you dare! Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again. Hey! But it's got to be better than this. No! Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? No, don't... Why? Why? What possible purpose could that stand to present? Bill! <sighs> All of his co-workers were gone. Yep. What could it mean? Pain. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. No, he didn't. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Nope. Oh. Yeah. All right. Oh, thank you, Yasmat Slayer, for the brand new... <gasps> Tier 2! Tier 2 membership, you generous bitch! Cheers. I... Bill! Okay, yep, it's worse. I might be remembering this wrong. <sighs> It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? But... I... Okay. It's fine. I... I'm gonna... I'm gonna be in there in a minute, aren't I? B, by the way. For B. I... How about this door? That's... Bill! Bill, come on! What? Bill, nothing clicks anymore, Bill. There's no rattling. Uh -huh. I knew we'd miss something. What? The story. Here it comes. What? Bill, that's... But this is, but, but my office, Bill! My suicide window, Bill! There's not a blue room here, Bill! That was... Uh, just close. Close. Wait. Why does that go this... 
What? What? Wait a minute. No, this isn't. This isn't. Is this... Is this what they mean when they say losing the plot? I... I am I in superliminal no, to... wait. Never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. What's in the box, Bill? It might be my head. I definitely seem to have lost it at this moment in time. Bill, I'm really not looking forward to what's around this... corner. Alright. Yep. Bill! We're in Condemned 1 now! Bill! Come on! I... Now this... Well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. Huh. Is this the story? Maybe. I don't think so. Oh, come on. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It... Is that correct? Sure. Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? I do. Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be oh, doing... Oh, no, 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 no. You win. Oh. Congratulations. Oh. I know you put in a lot of hard work. And Thank it you. really paid off. So, good job. Huh. Cheers. Oh, no. Oh. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Shit. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. You're a bitch. Okay. I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time. I have Don't to you start. dare, you son of a bitch. What in the fucking blue hell is Excuse me. Yellow hell is this? Blue Hell was the last branch I went through on this absolute turgid toffee pudding tree. Oh. Kevin Trin, thank you for the uh, $2.50 there in poop emojis. Uh, um, this is definitely where one of All us right. crosses the line. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. I've noticed. Just follow the line. No. How simple is that? No. I'm not doing that. It, immediately, in fact. Absolutely not. I mean, I could just jump out this window. All right. I'm not going to do that, but I could. I'm at least going to let you maybe... All right, I'm following the line. Solitaire? I can't click it. I gotta click the solitaire. Hey! Hey, I'm supposed to be able to turn these computers off, Bill. What are you worried about? The story? Me? Or the electricity? Bill! I... Why does that be six, but that one's three, seven? What? Alright. Bitch! Ah! I don't want to... You even put it around the boxes? Bill, you consider it. I'll have you know, I don't need that shit. I can just... I wish I hadn't spent all my fucking jumps! You see? The line knows where the story is. What it's the... over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Yeah, but... The... Here's a thought. What? Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Yes. Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is oh, inevitably no. conjured into He's being doing that thing again. the very manifestation well, he doesn't of shut the, the fuck up. of life itself? Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with oh, me. Oh, don't, please. Now, we can both agree oh. that the nature of existence is, in fact, a byproduct well, this is it, isn't of it? one subjective experience this is my future. of that existence. Listening right? to this. Okay. Hoping. Now, if my Any singular door may free... I'm not going that way. Of your I'm not. One of these doors of this opens... Office. Thought that one did. Office, in fact, He's still actually going, saying nothing at all. You know, I've considered applying for a screwdriver permit and sticking it directly in my fucking ears. Considered it. I have. I'm not sure why I have been put to the sword so soon. I'm not following the line, you know. Hello? Did I... Have I won? I... Oh, you motherfucker. Wait, I... Hello? I wasn't listening to you, Bill. Why is there music? Bill! Bill! I... Bill? I'm... Kind of concerned, Bill. Am I going where I'm supposed to be... 
going, Bill? Why is the music so bloody loud? Who edited this? I see! You know he's half deaf, he's lonely. Why is there a Riddler? There's a Riddler of Riddler. All right. Fair enough. Epic, I must say. Ah, I'm gonna... Oh. What if I followed the line perfectly? What if I could wall run or walk? Another one of these, by the way. What did that say? Is that a rooster teeth whiteboard? I hope not. It'd be censored for good fucking reason there. Can you get me out of here, Bill? Or at least tell the bloody band to shut their shit pipe. Because this is starting to do my head in. Oh, look at Sean Bean in the Bond uni. I need the noise to quiet. It's like win the inside of Wilson Fisk's head. Why is this a bar craft of my heart rate? I'm leaving. Please, B1. Oh, B1 can be be kind to me. Come on. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, it's slightly calming down. That looks like a face. Am I out yet? Oh, no, it's gone on to get to the Barnabas bars. Uh, monthly ledgers. Uh, it's corporate. Consulate, co uh, I'm going this way. Joke's on you. Joke's on... No, it's not. It's on me. Egg <laughs> on my face. I'm wearing a chicken farm's offspring. Cut the music. Oh. Go back and look at that fern. Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. Oh. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. Oh. You won't want to miss anything. Okay. I mean... It's a fern. There's... There's a couple of plants inside of each other. You know. Com compartmentally. I'm... I'm gonna go backwards, Bill. That's what I'm... That's what I'm going to do now, Bill. I think I've had enough. I, uh, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just, uh. well, I mean, you know, on we go, I guess, on we go continuously, to the end of time, just gonna, I still can't, still, still can't walk on the walls, that's a, that's a shame, that's a, oh, my freedom. What happened? To my freedom? Where did it go? Bill, I kind of missed the music. Wait, we're, we're back at the office? No. 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 Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? What? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? No, it's, it's fine, Bill. The line's still going. It hasn't stopped going. Nor has, uh... My... My interest in not following the pissing thing, but, I mean, you know how it is, just, hey, try, try, and try again, uh, oh, Bill, I don't know what to tell you, it's not just me that's got it out for you, you've been betrayed by the line, TM, you actually have, it wasn't me, Bill, Bill, this oh. was, it was, no, no, it was, no, it was the line. line. How could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you... Bill. Oh, I can't take this anymore to hell with it. Where's the fern? Start. No! Ah! Bill. The fern better still be important. I, I committed it to memory, and it better not be for nothing. You keep restarting me, by the way. I'm going to have to go to your birth certificate again. Don't. I'm just getting used to Bill. Bill? No? You know oh. what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What? What's it ever done for us? I mean, We're intelligent people, right? No! Why can't we make up our own story? I have! Something exciting. I Bill tried! Mysterious. Every time! Ooh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Uh. Why don't we simply start wandering in... Well, I don't know. How about this direction? Oh, what do you know? I already saw that coming, narrator! I guess when it comes to the sequentials, you know, it's... I guess you're just narrator than I am on picking up what you're putting down. And you put it down! I'm time traveling, now, dude. Dude! Yes, this is exciting. No, it's not. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. Uh. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. Use what? your imagination. I don't. Whatever it might be, Stanley. I don't want to. I'm ready for this it. This is weird enough. This is weird enough. I. What? The. Uh. 
Uh, oh, I'm gonna come blood. Oh. JT Flightless Swallow, thank you for the fucking tier two membership helper. And Wolf J, thank you for becoming a first member. Thank you. Appreciate you. What, why am I here? Why? I'm just in the back rooms with corridors that loop like spaghetti strands. Oh, no, not you again. Oh. Not Stanley. I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. Oh. No lines or monitor rooms. Okay. Just don't acknowledge it. We should be fine. All right, we'll do. I'll go the other way. That's 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 what you wanted from me, right? To go backwards and avoid the line into the infinite abyss of the back rooms constantly. No, fuck that shit. That freaks me out. Hopefully, if I go forward, the line will at least lead me in a direction that isn't consistently overlapping with itself interdimensionally. I mean, it's just not universally possible. There's an multiverse, and then there's this. Well, I'm in eight different versions of the same place at the same time. That's not allowed. These lines are really starting to get on my damn nerves. And it's just one line. One very long line. It's like a queue for Devonums. Oh, actually, Greg's. When they started the damn fucking croc trend, build the line. It went into the ceiling. And you can't spell ceiling without line. Really? Look it up. Write it down. You'll see. It's fine. I think it's a... Bill. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. Oh. From here, the story is in our control. Yay! How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. Uh. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. No! Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay. No! So I know that each door has to lead Oh, go on, I'm not doing anything else. Means that I bet if I don't do it, you won't actually do the damn do logic. Go. You won't. There you just keep speaking if I don't do this. I already know your game, Bill. I know the way it is with you. All right, I give you lip. Yeah, your name's uh, lib backwards. So I just got to keep doing this shit. Also, you better make me go left, all right? Because left is best. As we have established every day of my life, it's always best. I played the Binding of Isaac. I picked the item on the left with Curse of the Blind. It's Godhead. Oh, are you done? Awaits. That wasn't a choice at all. There was two doors and you opened one. We're going the other way. Fuck you. Maybe I can unwind time and then the left door will open. I'm... I'm sick to death of this. I... No. You know, if you make all the choices, this is your adventure that I'm living. You, know, you, you are a parent putting me through pageantry. You fuck! Are you taking the piss directly out of my bladder? Have I even processed the H2O into piss yet? Oh, hold up, what's this? Hmm. Hmm. The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? Oh, no. It's all one giant ending? Oh, no. And we're supposed to restart the game what, eight, eight times? Huh. That's really how all this goes? It's all determined? Always was. So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Yes. Well, what if I don't want to forget? Oh, now you know how I feel. My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this, this thing, wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? You maybe did. Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really? Oh. No, it can't be. I, oh. I don't want it to be. I... I don't want the game to keep restarting. Oh, I don't I. want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't oh, do it. No. I won't do it. I've got to do it. And oh! the to stop. Does that mean um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? Oh no. The um whatever it is that made this schedule. How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Yes. Will something happen? From that light. So, okay. Uh. I guess now we just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? Uh -uh. I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. I mean, you're not wrong. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Uh. Well, in the meantime... <laughs> Alright, uh. I. I wasn't done. I was gonna do a bit. 
about me reminiscing about the silly music. It's gonna walk up to it and laugh, and then consider how I miss the music. Not this, not this weird shit. You know the. Da, 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 I was I was gonna do it. I don't know if it's his fault anymore. I'm of the impression there's currently several dozen variants of the narrator. And they're all fighting for control. The one with the air horn just fucking won. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Oh no. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Oh no. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Uh oh. Okay. Uh. Um. All right, are we back to normal now? You don't remember any of it, do you? You've completely forgotten, haven't you? Hmm. Raider, I... I'm gonna stay in here with the coffee stain. Oh, and I, I guess this is where Stanley felt he needed to be right now. Yes. In this little hallway. Here, with no distractions, uh -huh. to study room 417. I don't want to look at the room. Would to actually enter it? No, 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 no. That would be far too forward. Stanley wanted to know it from the outside. No, no, I don't. To see it not just with his eyes, nope. but with his heart. I'm trying to, like, he process. He room 417. The loss of you. No man or woman had ever known an office before. The previous you. That ladder over there. There's no ladder. Oh, and that little picture of a horizon or something. It's not there if I don't look it's at it. It's all just a never-ending parade of joy for Stanley. <sighs> All right. Shh. I'm sick of you at this point. This you. Because this you, I've already been with. I miss the self-aware one. What am I sitting on? What the fuck? Where are my legs? Hey. You want to talk about this stain? There's a stain. We haven't acknowledged that one yet. No. What about this? This leaf. With dew. What would a anything, narrator? I I like to I. Now oh, he's gone. Oh, I'm going to go this way. Ah, no, apparently not. No, never mind. Those doors were cannon. I went through those doors eventually. Damn it! What do you think about that? I went back in. You got anything for me, bitch? You think I'm gonna go in there, don't you? Because of your bright lights and your neon? No, I don't care. Also, the bright lights are the neon. So I just... I just said the same thing twice to make you mad. That's the opposite of new content. That's old, old. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. <sighs> Narrator! I don't remember where I am anymore. Oh, well. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Oh, yeah. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just The fucking it. line is there! The line is... Narrator. Old narrator. Self-aware narrator. If you're in there, the line's there. I'm gonna get you back. I'm gonna get you back, buddy. I'm gonna- I'm gonna- I'm gonna figure it out! Just gotta find the fucking line! Wait, is that also the line? The line's always been here, it's on all the desks. Ah! I'll get you. I don't know how. All I'm gonna do is find a hallway that overlaps itself. Wow. Yes. This room- Shut up! What a- but eager to get back to business, huh? Stanley took the first open door huh? on his left. Huh? No, I didn't. I might one day, but not right now. Or maybe I will. Maybe I won't. I don't have a clue. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Sure. Line! Line! Fucking line! Ah. Uh, oh, I'm not sure what's actually still happening and what stopped now. I don't know. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. Yep. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. No. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult. Very. But the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. But you wrote it! There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Is it me? Someone you've forgotten about. Or is it you? Please, 
Stop trying to make every decision by yourself. It's you, isn't it? I'm not asking for me. Yes, you are. I'm asking for her. Who the hell is her? All right. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. Which? To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. What? She's been waiting. Who? The woman that found me dead? And which way's redemption? Is it B1? Ah, oh, it's not B1. I, 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 I don't be one for redemption, I guess. Oh. Oh, not this again. I don't like these. These scare me. What? That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. Nope. If you can truly place your faith in another... Then pick up the phone. Absolutely not. As Stanley <gasps> picked up the phone, a white light engulfed him, filling him not just with radiance, but with hope. No, I didn't. With hope for a life reunited one. No, I didn't. Wait. Oh, goodness. Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? Yeah. No, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? A Kraus. You actually chose incorrectly. Yeah. I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. What are, you, what are you checking? It's happened. No, Fuck this, I'm getting Stanley out of here while he's not... Clear as oh. day. Stanley picks up the Can't even rattle it. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the huh? two pledge themselves to one another. Who? Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. No! Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? What? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. What do you mean? I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? Mean nothing. What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. What, have I got a mole? How had I not noticed it sooner? When did it come in? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <sighs> oh, no. I can't believe I was so mistaken. This oh, no. is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. Oh, Christ. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decisions. I can pick up the phone if you want. you not grasp the severity of the situation? No. Well, I won't have that kind of risk okay. on my watch. He's getting quicker. I'm going to stop the game for a moment. No. So we can educate you properly oh, on please, safe decision-making in the real don't, world. Don't do it. Please observe this helpful instructional video. What are you doing? Right? Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. Is it? But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. You got me here. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Rupert has a choice. Oh, yeah? He could invent a machine that eliminates food shortages across the world to make life better for all people. That'd be good. Or he could spend years of hard work forgetting how to read. What? Which choice would you make? Remember what? that unlike here, the real world makes sense, and at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. What? If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. That's... Allow the person to finish their thought That's why they're a bot? and provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. What? Turn to a partner and practice saying, my goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. What? Excellent. Uh, Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Why is that a... Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Yeah. Less? Uh, and finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, uh. just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant, oh. and the feeling should subside. It... At this time, your instructor uh... will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Don't. I... I... Ah, what? Don't... Welcome back. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. Yeah. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago. No. And see what the correct thing to do would have been. Okay. This way, please. If you want, I can plug the phone back in. I just thought the consequences of my actions would be you shouting and getting mad a little bit. <laughs> not, not the, uh... Not, not the existential dread I now feel about the meaningless... Of it all. 
Can I just... Can I just... Can I just... Can I just... Can I... Can I... No. Ah, hell. You know, these things are supposed to, you know, lift you up. But emotionally, I feel very, very down right now. I could do with a few of you. Because you... I don't know, find a driver power on and get the fuck underneath me? Oh. Well... You better close that. I don't want to see that shit again. Now, what am I doing, Narrator? What do we... Narrator, I'm gonna do this instead. Piece of shit. Motherfucker! Alright. Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Oh, yeah. Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. Or a fifth. That story would make no sense at all. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Shots fired on the Kingsman, by the way. This place is not well equipped to deal with reality. No. Because it's not, is it? Also, the lion is missing. I truly have no accurate interpretation of what's canonically linked to me right now. Not one iota. Of information do I possess on that? Just a in just an infinite, infinite amount of doubt. An infinite, infinite. It doesn't actually end. I. Is that correct? Is that the way that was before? Oh. Regis, I'm lost. Uh, spams and subscribing. Thank you so much. Wolf J bought you YouTube watch about six, seven years. Going to start trying in the streams actively now. You're on a stream on YouTube. As work allows. Thank you so much for also becoming a member. <gasps> An Italian rebel of the five. I just want to say that I had a few rough months and you're super good to help me get through it. Don't have much, but I want to thank you. Thank you very, very fucking much. I hope you're feeling better. I uh, see so you've been up to some shenanigans since last time the pill bug that I did I have. Thank you. Cheers. Spams and subscribing. I think I've already said that. I'm stupid. I'm losing my mind. The radar, I'm not okay with this. I need... I need my choices back. What choice will we... 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 we I'm fucking having a remix. What choice are we redoing? I thought it'd be the phone. M maybe the conveyor. But we're going all the way back, aren't we? We'll get... What the fuck? What the... Narrator? Narrator, is that supposed to be happening? Is that the consequence of my action? Also, don't forget to like the video. You punch... You punch your lovely people. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. But I... I... I don't want that! I... I want to be goofy and the line's gone. I want to just... I don't want you to make me feel small, universally. I've got my reflection for that with my pants off! I don't need... Oh, okay. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. All right. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. Yes, sir. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. Yeah. All right. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, uh -huh. he entered the door on his left. Your mistake was opening the right door. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. No. No, I... Cool, blimey, mate. What has happened in here? Is that somebody's pin code? Why is there a door frame inside the... I mean, really, is that what I'm choosing to question right now? There's a whole lot of fuck right now. Oh, the, the, these filing cabinets look like they've got faces. <laughs> look like they're saying, Hello! <laughs> okay. Oh. All right, I won't do it again, I promise. I would never do that twice. <clears throat> Terrence, it didn't change. All right, hang on. I'm just gonna. Terrence. Ter Terrence, can I? I, I, I can't fuck it twice. Fair enough. It's a lease. Well, maybe I've broken things over here. That would be fun, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it be nice if I uh, broke every single thing? Oh, it's ruined. You, I can't believe after everything we talked about that you. My yeah. story, you've destroyed my work. I'm sorry. Why? For what? What did you get out of that? A giggle? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Fun. Lived here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worthless now. And what am I supposed to do? 
Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? Yeah. To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? Easy. I can't erase that knowledge. You I'll accept. I'll live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. I'm just saying. The answer, what do I do? If this were a whiteboard from Rooster Teeth, I'd know what the first few letters of that oh, would I be. To. I have to shut the game down. I have to. Don't you I damn well to. dare! No! Oh, 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 oh. What? Terrence, I'm still in here. Ah! Terence? Terence, I'm, I'm feeling very Portal 2 right now. Oh, I'm here. Uh -huh. I'm still here. Here in this pile of rubbish. With you. Yeah, yeah. You, who thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. Oh, just this room. It was the only thing in the world that was mine, and you run it into the ground. I should have got more what, in your life, you then. That's that on you. Funny? You just had to see... Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? Uh. He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. Uh, avoiding that this. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you? No. Nah. You're a child. Uh. Oh. My story. I'm sure you can rewrite it. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. Oh, really? It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. Oh. I tried so hard to make... I... Terrence. ...is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly oh. and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Come on. We both know how this is going to go. Why would I do it? Eh. I... Well, I don't know. I've seen a stable of dead horses. They aren't very fun. But at the same time, giving people what they want... Nah. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back. Whoa! Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means oh, choosing responsibly and no. always putting the story first. <sighs> I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just well, follow my lead and you'll be fine. Regis right. Philburn. <clears throat> Sorry. When Stanley oh, came to a set of two you better open doors, this door. He entered the I, door on his left. It's, there's I, absolutely no way in hell. Regis? The price is wrong. Regis. Regis. <clears throat> no. Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. I'm getting sick of this shit. And choosing responsibly I'm... and always putting the story first. <sighs> I'm quite sure you'll be All right. up to the time. No, it's fine. Just I'm gonna get pencil. I'm gonna get bothered. Right. I'm gonna start walking in circles like you told me to do in the lighthouse room. It's fine. It's great. It's grand. It's gravy. It's baby. All I'm gonna do is get nice and warmed up. My feet are toasty. They are on fire. And here we go. What's the problem in Balamori? I. Hmm. Hello? No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly How am I and always putting in this story first. Is this it? I'm quite sure you're Is this an infinite loop? Task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. How am I? All right. <clears throat> I when Stanley Am I am I am I a ghost in the machine? Am I haunting course, myself? He entered the door on his left. There's there's no. Okay. Here's what, here's what we're going to do. We're just going to Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. E e e e. Right. No! Why did you okay. do that? Quickly. Hurry okay. Ah. Just behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead you know? and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When I have Stanley considered a set of two open that doors, just he maybe the door on his left. potentially there is nothing to gain from going right. I still went right. Oh no. 
Did I break this one? Did I do the ending? I've been a good boy, I swear- I didn't even- oh, I did it. Yet there was I no did it! Either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. You forgot to get rid of the broom closet. Uh Fuck! Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Why is there no stairs down here to these two doors? They're quite clearly a doors. That one doesn't have any handles on it, but it's still a- Hmm. Well, alright. If I can- If I can climb the difficulty of ladling demons to death, I'm pretty sure I can deal with this. Why is- Regis! I'm getting real- That's not the- Hang on the fucking- That's- That's not the- that's not that- that's not that office! I've been in- this is- that's not the same office! This is a different office! Stepping inside Damn the it. manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Uh -huh. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. Uh -huh. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. No! He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. But I've not been- Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? No! Would it still work? There no. was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up. But now, he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. No! He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. No, I'm over here. I will do no such thing. I'm going to look at these paintings. One of them will be... Oh, it's Sad Panda. No, never mind. I'm saying the code. Um. <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. He spoke it into the receiver. <clears throat> I'm here. There on the wall. Night Shark 115. Night Shark! One! Oh, sorry, is there a I, problem? I... You didn't mishear me, did you? Please, speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. Hey. Asshole. You asked me to put in the time at the beginning of this. Okay, fine. You're not gonna do it, but you know what? Not the mic. It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. You're bothering me. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice. You're, you the know. door didn't you work. You could have gone through the door on the right. No, I you couldn't. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. I couldn't. Why did you come this way? I had to. Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you I'm coward. I'm trying! When Stanley came to a set of two... What of the doors, fuck is this?! Stanley? Hello? Are you... Is everything I... okay? Stanley, please. I... I need you to make a choice. What? I need you to walk what? through the door. What? Are you listening to Why me? are the credits here? Can you hear me? I am out! Of... Is everything all right? I'm out of bounds! Stanley, this is important. Even... Fuck you, Kevin. No, I can't! I... I what? I... I'm, I'm falling... No, I'm jumping off. Goodbye! I... There's no... Oh, this is actually a room. There's no way this could be a room! I no 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 you killed him do something stanley's dead i'm dead this is more important than you can ever know you're dead i need this tough the story needs it so are you there are you listening to this stanley are you there no okay it's okay, I can wait. You need time to decide. Sorry, Leroy. Make sure your choice is correct. That Leroy. Is the best choice. That's all right. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Stanley, go right. Take as much time as you need. Stanley. Stanley, go right. <gasps> oh, yeah. 
I, what, you think you were going to win this, huh? Kevin? Huh? Hang on, I'm not going to let you outlive that one. Uh, um, yeah. No. I meant what I said. All of his co Shut up, poor! Gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. I did Perhaps not. he had simply missed a memory. No, I didn't. Mm. You know, it's good. For you, emotionally, you're gonna realize something. You need me! Alright? And what you need doors, is me to not do name. what you ask me to do! That's what you're gonna realize. Stanley's been dead the entire time. I'm Stanley. Stanley is Yet simply the vessel which you occupy. And without me, either. me locked in the ceiling for some fucking reason, like a rat! To go up to his well, you don't have any purpose, do you? Might find an Punk! There. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, mm. so he turned around and got back on track. Nope. Absolutely not. You better realize I'm not here. For no reason. <sighs> there was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. Is it brighter no in here? reason to still be here. Or is it just me? You know, I've been here before, right? You realize. I have. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. Then give me that. It is. He's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. Give me something to do in here. Kevin. I dare you, you are bitch. You, are you really still in the broom closet? Yep. Standing around doing nothing? Yep. Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. I'm trying to make you mad. That's, that's basically, I'm, 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 a, I'm a child. I'm a child, sir. That's what I am. I'm a ch you I'm. Realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I don't believe you. I never would have thought to mention it. Mm-mm. There's a reason it's here. If I bother you enough, eventually you're going to wake up out of your comatose state and fucking Maybe axe handle me into the ground. Its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, mm -hmm. Oh, did there you is! The broom closet There's ending? the pink sass! The closet ending was my favorite. Shut up, Kevin. I hope your friends find this concern. You're the name of the brother of a bitch Lannister who died shitting. Why don't you fuck yourself? You broom closet hating Stanley bitch! Was and ugly and really, really stupid. I hate you. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That all with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. Last one's fine. Except for the addiction, now I think about it, you can just shove it up your ass, and that's without a well, payment. I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. Inside. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here. Nope. When a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system. Boredom of you. you. Collapsed on the keyboard. It's Kevin allergies. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of. I'll kill you. It begins to decompose. I'll hurt you. Hello? Anyone <laughs> who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. I... They're How do you know I'm on a computer? I could be playing it on my Switch. My Xbox. You don't fucking know, do you, Kevin? You weren't even around when they started the development for the consoles. You old fucking donut-shaped bitch! Yeah, I may be addicted to drugs and hookers, but you're addicted to reading the same lines of dialogue over and over to your grey, wrinkly and withered! You're gonna look like a fucking sun-kissed raisin brand! And insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right. When you've done that, just step out into the hallway. Yeah. All right, I'll do that for you, Kevin. It's still me, though, you dumb fuck. Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. I just want to see. You, too? <laughs> I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. The fish? Fungus? Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'm gonna hammer my ass into your dick in a minute. I don't think I'd say that out loud. Especially to somebody named Kevin. Well, that's just the way it's gonna go in the broom closet. Gotta come out of it eventually. This is all a big metaphor for gay. What have I done? Is it 2013? Yes, that's when the game came out. Gay's still funny. Kevin, I need to leave this broom closet. I'm getting questionable.
<sighs> Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Wait a fucking minute. I haven't gone down here before. <laughs> oh, hang on a moment. Lachlan Noonan, thank you for the dollar. I, I haven't seen you for a bit. <gasps> and it might out with the same. Five dollars. Peebus, I've missed being able to spam you with bits and stuff. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. Seriously, seriously, thank you. Hello? Oh, my word. Uh, it's a bit red, isn't it? There's nothing down here but the red. Oh! I have been here before! Never fucking mind! It was lost on me! I forgot about the infinite infinitesimal bullshit of a woman finding me dead and her becoming the protagonist. Silly me! Memory of a damn sieve. Oh, for fuck's sake, it's this again. Stepping into <laughs> Played. Played all the way home. You've got nothing on me, you fucking dickhead. You can't touch me! Now, now let's see what happens when I go... Up. Just gonna... Gonna... Maybe... Wait a moment. What if I... What if I try the, uh... What if I try the elevator? What if I... No. No! Well, I've already done the elevator ending. The escape pod. So, uh, I guess it's my turn to do this. Uh, 11 score Kevin, 1 score me. Yeah. Holy shit. Play a link with 20 direct fucking dollars. Hey, I got this for you. It's gonna be a bit small. Stop, 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 stop. Because I haven't actually done my job and fixed that. What? I need you to know I'm not perfectly holding that pose. But it will do. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Nope. Never. You can hum in my ears with sweet nothing. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Oh yeah, I sure did. You know, I can't wait to bother you even more with this. It's Yet coming! There was not a single person here either. Nope. Feeling a wave of disbelief. You're gonna remember Stanley it this time, to go up to bitch! Oh no, oh no, 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 not again. I won't be part of this. I'm ah. not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. You just did. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. <laughs> Please take your time. Oh, by all means. I believe I've, I've already bothered you all the way. <laughs> ah, that's made me happy. Got my jollies off. I mean, most people who come into a closet like this, there's somebody else present. And you know, in instead of the the literal fucking, I'm just fucking you off. <laughs> Wait a moment. Wait a moment. What is that it? Wait. There's no way. All right, sir. <coughs> oh, excuse me. You're supposed to make this fun for me. You can't leave! I... There ain't... There... There ain't, sir! I... All right. In this timeline... I never leave. Thank you, Rice B, for the 10. Back to it, I see. Can't see how you lose your mind today. Oh, it's coming. Don't worry, it really is. Thank you so much for the 10. Just a step through this door, Stanley thought to himself, Wait a minute. that's all I need. Wait, what? If I can make it through this door, I can make it through them all. Well, that's not how that works. Wait, hey, why did you say that? Hey, you don't say that! You... All right. Holy fuck, James Rumble with a tier 2 bloody membership. Cheers, stop it! Oh, Mariana. <gasps> Tried to pop in for lunch, made myself some minestrone, but I added too many noodles and accent. Next time I need to add some corn and chicken, but I don't think it'll be my minestrone anymore. How are you currently losing all brains? 
All right. Uh, excuse me. I'm sorry. Apologies. Kevin! When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I got some good feelings about where we're going with this mentally, Kevin. I really do. Truly. Yet there was not a single we person here. We are either. going to Feeling sweep. A wave of oh. disbelief. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. All of our differences under the rug. That's what I thought. I. Hey! Hey! I. I'll find and fight you, Kevin. I have your name. Open the. It doesn't even have a door handle anymore. You took off the door handle and you bought it up? Only one of these was needed, Kevin! This is overkill! What? I... I... It's... Ah! Holy shit, BM viewer with a fucking team supporter! Stop ruining my bit! Stop! Stop. That's what they were going to say. Alright. All right, broom, closet, me and you, dude. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Mm. Kevin, where is the broom closet? It's here somewhere, you fuck. You've just moved it. I know the way you work here. I... Uh. Maybe there's a broom closet in the infinite looping. Maybe. I don't know. I haven't a clue! I... Why, you, why isn't there another staircase? I... Alright. But Stanley just couldn't do it. No. Nope. He considered the possibility All of right. facing his boss. There's gonna be a broom closet here. His post I bet you, hours. if he I loop enough like that. Sonic on a ramp, a I will economy, find a bloody door that says house. broom closet. Or closet broom. What a damn it. clue. All I've got to do is figure it out at some point, and then eventually, Maybe. you... No, it's not Maybe a Pixar. It's crazy. not that. It or isn't this way. These doors closing behind me. That's the question. No yes, all. they are. But at what point sense. do they close? So no one's this, really sure. Oh, it's fine. You know, I'm beginning to think the representation of this little looping room situation is already something I've been firmly acquainted with the entire time. This isn't a problem at all. I'm climbing filing. <laughs> I'll get over the mountain of work. <laughs> oh, it's fine. And no point will Kevin actually shut the fuck up. No, it'll be another infinite climb into the pants of what? As I take my stroll along there and get to my destination. Oh, fuck. Won't be a problem. No issues here. Just gas like pulling teeth like I'm going to the dentist. Only I'm not the bloody customer. I'm the occupant of pain who forgot to prescribe enough painkillers. And I'm just hurting the feelings of all of my fucking friends because I don't have any customers that aren't friends. I'm floating. Oh, for crying out loud. This is starting to... Oh, I forgot about the infinite of the sky and the stars on the inside. That's fine. No issues here. I started levitating like David Blaine, but without the bullshit. And, you know, there's a computer here that I can't click. All I needed was to be able to just log on and do one porn. But no! Infinite fucking rooms under construction! I can't photocopy this one. It's an original. It's a Wexler! I'll be gone. I'll be out. I'll be free. It's so funny. Keep going through here, yet I refuse to park my ass. Oh, I wish somebody could carpool me out of this one. Ah, uh, maybe. Who knows? Maybe if only the fucking smell of Ada worked, this bit wouldn't stink. I just need to leave. That's all I need. If I could get a monitor of a different bit of the building, I'd be able to be fucking free of this. Nope, not once. Maybe someone should have screamed this for me. I don't know. I feel like I've been 
been framed in this shed. The doors close behind me, and the doors in front of me are always open, but they never lead anywhere that other ways have already been. So are the doors really open? Are they? Are they open? I don't think they are. I don't think the doors represent anything other than prison when all they ever fucking do is lead to where I've already been. Is a door a door if it leads to where you're already stood? Is it? Is a door? Oh, my eyes. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. And there you go! Right back to it! Pop shoving it! Because I wasn't dreaming, because this is already a nightmare. When life is pain from which you can't wake, what's a nightmare, really? Are you dreaming if you're living a happy life? And are you having a nightmare if you wake up to pain and go to sleep crying? None of this makes any fucking sense! This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular Oh, I'm day, dead again! All of his co-workers were gone. <sighs> what could it be? Fine. No problem, Kevin. Oh, here we go. Do. New, new content? No! No, I'm getting not bored of the bloody room. You bored it up. I'm going into the place with an, a an apparatus that was shoved up someone's anus in season two of 13 Reasons Why. That's where I'm going. I believe. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. There's gotta be something to do. In the pooper. Why does the door open outwards into me? Really? Not one single bowel movement I'm able to take in this room? This entire experience has been a load of shit. Where else am I supposed to put it? Uh, I just... Don't forget to wash your hands. Don't want to get the old coof. Fine. What about the smell of Ada? Ah, yeah. What about this? Huh? You still a piece of shit? Oh, sorry. I have a cursor now. I've been a cursor all day. Fuck and a dick. Wait, weren't you on the other side last time? Am I crazy? Ah, uh, that'll do. Hmm. Oh well. This is fine. I'm just going to, uh... I'm gonna go this way now. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could nope. it mean? Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. He began mm. wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf, mm. looking behind paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. Damn it! His attention was caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. Fuck! What could its purpose be? In fact, this keypad guarded <laughs> the terrible secret that lay buried below his feet. 
And so the boss God. had assigned an extra secret pin number. 2845. Fuck! But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. I didn't miss! Oh. You look away. Look away! Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Trying I... to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. Yet incredibly, <sighs> by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad... I mean, were you wrong? Were you, in the end? Oh, I can't see a thing. Life. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Yeah, I did. Still don't know what's behind that one. Hey, line? Oh, there's no line. Of course there's no line. Why would there be a line? Ah, what am I talking about? There's no line! <laughs> no, there's- uh, why does the floor look like it says something? Uh, is anyone else seeing that? Who am I speaking to? There's no one here but me and Kevin. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. I did! It was a stirring of emotion in his chest. Yeah. As though he felt more free to think for himself. Yes! To question the nature of his job. 100%. Why did he feel this now? I don't know! When for years, it had never occurred to him. Because you picked up a pen this and paper. This question would not go unanswered for long. Kevin, I was looking at the wrong uh, grating the entire time. Wait. But why? Oops. Nope. What? Uh, but the lights broke. Stanley Kevin! got back into the elevator. Kevin! Up. Silly me. I. Why did Stanley? Do Kevin, it? the lights when broke. It, it I thought you were going to fourth wall office. me. Well, like oh, and then Stanley tried to use the broken out. elevator. What a brain damage! God! Lord lovers, help me, save me! Ah, oh, because now the button won't. Oh, I'm sorry. Kevin, you know, since I've learnt your name, I've pissed you off so much more. Here we are, Stanley. It's your boss's office. I know! Exactly the way it was piano. You got onto of the all elevator. the things that I can click it's and press and play with, exactly how the hell is the is. piano key? Not one of them! Made to uh, come up here and look at the yeah, all right. Again. Yeah, all right! Fleshed out the plot of the story in new and fascinating Just send me to the back rooms with Mario as Chris Pratt. It's that and yes, that way round! Storytelling that you have. Decisive, <sighs> rapid-fire oh. and critical plot points. One after the other. Shut up! A rich tapestry of uncompromising narrative. Wow. <laughs> I'm bolted to the edge of my seat. Yeah, no, I am. Incredible. Never leave. Now he's getting back into the elevator and going down again. Ladies and gentlemen, how does he keep coming up with all of this? Short-term memory loss. Surely this time Stanley will walk forward into the spooky corridor, won't he? And Stanley Jokes walks on straight you, ahead dick face, the I already... door that read Mind Control Facility. Stanley also read the words escape in Red Biro and thought, fuck you, Kevin. Going this way. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Wait. That's what a liar would say. No, I don't believe you. Nothing can kill me here. Smokes and fog is clipping through the walls. There's nothing dangerous the door here. Behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Yeah, but Kevin, you see, the the brick here is well, it's just far too small to fit within the rest. So you want to talk to me why this texture is clipped over itself? Huh, Kevin? You're the writer, you're also the, uh, the texturer? Think you fucked up when copy and pasting this hallway? <laughs> Little bitch. Huh? That's it, that's all I got for you. What is this? This is just a bit of scaffolding that... Well, it doesn't connect to anything at all. Well, that's not very well constructed. What is that? There's a vent. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward. Yes. And willingly confront his death. I mean, we all got to eventually, right? I mean, I'm just choosing to do it on my terms. I sure hope there's some, uh, very red cookies down there and not hell. Oh, crikey, I think it's hell. Oh, the lighting changed! Where's the- Red. <laughs> Uh, 
As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, I was. he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. I can't move. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. No, because it's too he dark. He know the real story. Uh -uh. Trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. A lie. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. What? And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Not farewell, Stanley. No, I don't think so. Farewell, you. See you in a minute, bit. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator. What? As Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. Are you deaf? In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Oh. That's not what happened at all. Braille? Or boxes? <laughs> Alright. Alright, um... New Kevin? Uh... Uh... I can't think of a... I can't... Uh, Betsy Kettleman? How about that? That'd be... Ah... I see this is where the fourth wall was. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? I don't know. I'm not sure, Betsy. Um. When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Yeah. Do you see that Stanley it's a lot was brighter now. dead from the moment he hit start? Huh? Well, I mean, that is the nature of life, it coming to an end and until we figure out how to make everybody cyborgs and then we have a population crisis and an electricity crisis because we're all robots and there's too many of us. And then I imagine that we have some, some Mad Max situation where we probably fight on a, a dome similar to this, a little more cracked and withered. And then, uh... Well, then I imagine only a few hundred survive without the technology to, you know, repower everything because they're robots, and then... Yeah. And we're all dead! Thanks for that, Mrs. Kettleman. Yep, I mean, these are nature paintings. You'd... You're not fucking wrong. I mean... All right. <gasps> oh! Oh, this appears to be, uh... This appears to be a map of my life! Good! Office layout. This blueprint shows the office from the beginning of the game. The path from Stanley's office to the two doors was the first part of the game that was built. Sections have been added and altered throughout development. But the core layout remains almost identical to the first iteration. Yeah, that's the window I can jump out and get my ass stuck as fuck. It's really cool. I liked it. Yeah. This is a computer. Stanley's computer. Potentially making it my computer. If I'm to believe I'm actually Stanley. And not some otherworldly force controlling him. Oh, yeah. Corridor. The facing of this opening section was important to get right. Corridor's been moved and altered to make sure the player reaches the two doors in a, in a good time. Hmm. Yeah. Filing cabinets. I'll, I'll let you know when you start lying. Oh, I don't need to look over there. That's danger. That's the end. That's death. Two doors. Said of two open doors was the very first concrete piece of the Stanley Parable design. Once this room was created, the rest of the game emerged as an extension of it. An exploration of the contradiction. This room posed. Mrs. Kettleman, are you the developer of everything, or am I just... I can't stand on that. Why have you done this to me? It's just the office. Door doesn't open. Coffee stain. Pixar lamp. Doesn't open. That's just number three. Shockingly, none of them open. This is the button sounds. Selection of sounds was used throughout the game when buttons are pressed. Each sound is a mix of a keyboard stroke and a synthesized tone. That almost sounded like the opening to Dragon Force. That one didn't. That's pleasant. I like that. Uh, 
I don't really want to read that anymore. I already know it's Kevin. It's the only knowledge I needed. Make sure to turn all those off. I don't care what you were installing. I'll give you fucking malware you try that shit again. Not on my watch. Office. Oh, there's, there's the maintenance room, of course. I need to go there again. This is just a photocopier. Making me... Just a, I'm, I'm lost. Kettleman! Mrs. Come back now, can you? Uh, a boss's office? I haven't been to that boss's office. Hey. Oh, okay. That's the, that's the clock. Where would you be without being able to tell time, huh? That a bomb? Hello? What's that noise? Who was that? Freedom ending? There's a freedom ending? Freedom ending? What's that noise? What is this? Countdown desk. One of the desks from an early version of the countdown ending. Excuse me! No, I didn't do anything. Hmm. Huh. Mrs. Cattleman, has it occurred to you that I might not have seen any of this Zending model? The Zending? Z- Zen- Zending? Zending. I- Zending. They don't fucking move. Z- I- I'm being memed. Trailers. I can go in it. No, I- Trailers. I... I... I don't know how many... What? That's not what that... That's not what that... You flipped those. And it says different. Why did you change it? <laughs> we had an ending that only ended when the player restarted from the escape menu. Unfortunately, very few players realized I was supposed to... Which was... Frustra... Ah... Uh, um... I'm getting a little lost. I. What? What? Why? I. I'm a. I. I'm not really. I'm a little, I'm a little confused now. Uh, apartment? Oh! Uh, um. I'm not- I... Apartment... I haven't... Been... There... Perkins? My... What? Oh! Um... I didn't expect to take a tour of a place... That I haven't been yet at these- oh! These are rooms. Oh, I'm not allowed in Stanley's office, which is my office. That's the evolution. Um. I. Ah, oh, you really, really went all out from stage two to three. I got to. Wow. Heaven forbid we lose the, the, the records of what the room used to look like. I. Fear I may never be free. I think I found freedom. Freedom ending. Wait. Oh, I've. Oh. Oh. Okay, see ya. Everyone. <laughs> oh, look at these two. Me? How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. Huh? How they both wish to be free. Yeah, oh, like the. Like the freedom ending! Can you see? No. Can you see how much they need one another? Uh-uh. No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. Oh. A blind ending. But listen to me. You can still save those two. What if I don't want- stop the program before they both fail. Uh huh? Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. No. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Don't believe Stop you. Now and it'll be your only true choice. I want to be. Don't choose it. A pancake. Time choose for you. Don't let.
Oh. Oh. I, uh... I thought she might have intervened. Huh. I don't, uh... I don't need to... do that again now, do I? But what would be the difference between the death and me hitting quid? Which would be the death. Huh. Well. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had Kevin, simply missed a memo. Is it odd I've started to miss your voice? Or at least did? Is that odd? <laughs> it's gotta be right. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I don't... No, uh, you know, maybe escape wasn't for the best. Escape led to my death, which Kevin told me about. He had my best interests at heart, and my heart is currently in a 2D platformer on account of it being flat as a fucking pancake. Kevin? I'm choosing to believe that you and I have got past our differences and you've unfucked the brim closet. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of Kevin, I'm going to set everything you love on fire and make you watch! Office, ...hoping he might find an answer there. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Alright, you motherfucker! This is the end! Excuse me. For anyway. you! That's the ending. So to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. Wait a minute. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy. Hey. So he relaxed for a few moments with some calming new age music. What? This is reminding me of Twins from 1990. Can you Kevin, I was in a rush. You Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Who's trolling who here? Who's getting pranked? It's me. Is this... Is this, does this do anything yet? Gonna... Uh. 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 Kevin? Not to be mistaken with Kevin. Kevin. You didn't do the intro thing. And talk to me. Kevin, it's like you're you're aware of the of, of, of the actual other runs. I don't mean my previous. Oh! Ahead through the large door that read "Mind Control Facility." My previous bouts with diarrhea, which I'm glad I don't have, otherwise I'd have painted my fucking chair and pants brown. All right, I'll go to the MCF. I prefer MJF, but I. All right. All right, just gonna... The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. I don't know, are they TV screens if it doesn't have cable or free view? Really? Himself, it's a monitor at that point. Especially as it's used to monitor all the other people. Which, and I'm beginning to think all of the employee numbers are actually all just me and my lives. But let's not get multiversal about it. I don't want to have to fight now, Daphne. The jump to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to image on screen. And Stanley oh, it's like Home Alone. That's 1990s as well. <laughs> Kevin! Freedom meant nothing. <laughs> now what? Aha! You've made it to the bottom of the mind control facility. Welcome! 
You see, back when the Stanley Parable first launched in 2013, yes. getting to the bottom of the mind control facility was a bug that we simply didn't catch during development. <laughs> and you all sent us lots of photos of it on Twitter and acted very superior about it. And you're all very, very clever. Good for you. Thank anyway, you. When it came time to update the game, we knew that we had to do something about this little goof of ours. So mm. here you go. New content. Hmm. You can call it the bottom of the mind control room ending. <laughs> if that enhances your perception of the value of these updates, isn't that what you crave? New content. I know two people Always in chat that do. More content, more content, more, 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 more. And I'm here to give it to you. Oh. I'm here to make it seem like we really covered every nook and cranny of the game with secrets and Easter eggs. How about this? We wrote a new piece of music just for this section. Oh! You won't hear it anywhere else in the game. Oh, lucky it's me! It's a secret that's just for you. Thank that's you. That's how special you are. Yes, Kevin. We call this track, Good Job You've Made It to the Bottom of the Mind Control Facility. Well done. Needs work. Good job. You did it. Good job. Good job, you made it to the bottom of the mind control facility. You jumped on the catwalk. You should have been careful, you should have been careful. It used to be a bug, but now it's an ending, now it's an ending. I believe in you, I believe in your ability to cross this barrier and chase your dreams. Railings don't mean anything. Good job, you did it. 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 Three more times. Good job, you did it. Good job, you did it. Two more. Good job, you did it. Good job, you did it. One. Good job, you did it. Good job, you did it. Oh. I. I mean, the music was good, but no belittlement, no berating, no condescending rant. I mean, I should be refreshed and grateful, but honestly, I just, I just feel like I got all worked up with no pl with no pay, no payoff, no no climax, if you will. Metaphorically, of course. All right. Already, this was uncomfortable. And Stanley decided that as soon as he found a new space he felt safe in, that he would never leave it again in his life. I'm trying to close the door in that case, sir. A whole office bigger than mine, all for me, with many computers. I get these monitors all facing directionally inward. I can have myself a very good time. A very good time! There's more than one porn website, you know, Kevin. Kevin! <sighs> Wait a minute. Safe space. Broom closet. You fucking took it away from me! Ay, you contradictory piece of garbage. You're a contra fucking dictionary! You have that many! <laughs> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I did. Oh, I did. I certainly did. I'm going to have a wonderful a time in my Feeling broom clo- Disbelief, Stanley decided to <laughs> his office, hoping he might find an answer there. Hmm. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. <laughs> 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 Okay, I think we all know the drill by now. Blah, blah, blah. Dark secrets, the keypad. Stanley pushes some buttons. Oh, hey, look, it's a new passageway. Kill surprise. Huh? What? Uh, thank you, I guess. Huh. Thanks, Kevin! The Iron Game with the five dollars. Hey, Brad, take $5 of my American minimum wage money, because you're the funniest bald man I've known for years. How do you know I've not got hair? I've been off screen for a while. <laughs> Thank you, Lachlan, in with the, with the two. Here's, where's Mr. Clean when you need him? Right there, freeze frame for the last 45 minutes. 
All right. This is the end. Standing oh, I'm fucking every time with that shit! Red mind control facility. <sighs> I, wanna, I wanted to turn it off. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television Monitors! Screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Me being cloned! thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find oh, out? Oh, son of a bitch. Sick to death of this. Come on! Now the monitors jumped to life. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co workers They're all me! The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. Nope. And Stanley, one of them... All of them? ...monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Yeah. All right, we'll see about that. I found a lot of freedom. This mind control facility. I mean, every single path to believe it couldn't of said freedom had did lead me to imprisonment one way or the other. Time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? Who's that? His emotions What's that monitoring? I don't even have a number. Can I? Yeah. No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. Always. It was unthinkable. Wasn't That's life. It? Was we it all think possible? we've got free will. Had it truly as it turns out, we're all life shattered it and hurt it into our own little world? box and said, Walk. Go. Do. Was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad. Or, or offline. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from you this better shut up. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. I... Wait. Dismantle? I mean... Pressing one of the buttons doesn't dismantle it, Gavin. No, it's just turning it off. If you want to dismantle it, I'm going to need a crowbar. I have no ulterior motives, by the way. I have every intention of using said crowbar to destroy these machines, of course. It definitely wouldn't go back and open the fucking broom closet, you fun-hating toad! Anyway, I already did that one, so... Good lord, my ears! Gavin? Gavin? Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Is it death? Was it over? Life? Oh. Oh! Yes. He had won. Won? He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Oh. Freedom was mere moments away. The door's gonna jam, isn't it? And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, oh, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Don't do it. Where had his co-workers gone? Oh, never mind. How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? It's not suicide. But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. It does. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. I mean, Perhaps you could find happiness in those things. You wouldn't imagine a live bitch. But to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Are you sure? Whatever life he lives, it will be his. I mean, will it? You've still written that it for me. Him. Us. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Huh. Stanley stepped through the open door. But what if... I don't? You didn't think about that, did you? This is the real freedom in the freedom ending. The actual freedom ending is confinement. This is true freedom! Kevin! Oh. Kevin, you put an invisible wall here. How is it freedom? If this direction is locked off. You fuck. No, that's fine. No, I'll go into my freedom ending, where you've told me what to do yet again. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. There's no wind. The feeling of liberation. 
the immense possibility of the new path before him. Mm. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. According to the script. And Stanley was happy. And blind! Oh. I beat the game. But if I've beaten the game, why am I here? Fuck but this! Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? I'm done. He had never been trained for that. I'll kill you. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. This is my freedom. To do now, Give me an internet connection. Is to wait. And I can do whatever I want. Hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here, I can be happy forever. Yup. I will be happy. Stanley waited. I'm already happy. Hours passed. Then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. No. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He mm. will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. I hate my life. Here it comes. Sleepy Panda with a 250. Addy, you are playing. I am making a pepperoni pizza. I'm so fucking hungry. Thank you for the support. Someone was following Stanley. He was sure of it. Whoa. If he checked over his shoulder Whoa. now, he would surely catch them. Whoa. It was only a matter of time. <laughs> ah. <laughs> what? Don't you do that! Alright! Don't you- I- That is- That is no laughing matter. Alright. I've played PT! I- Ugh. Oh. Alright. Just gonna- Since all the doors are locked, there can be nothing behind me. Nothing. Absolutely. Fucking. Nothing! I don't like it. No, I, I don't like it. I don't. That's worth it. Fuck off. Oh, well, uh, why don't you. Hey, 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 no, don't close me in. No, 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 no. Ah, no, apparently not. Yeah. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Hey! Hey, Kevin! I might just give you what you want inside the bit that isn't what you want. What do you feel about that, son of a bitch? This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Also, why is the donation text? Isn't the definition of insanity? I am eating it now, smiley face. Hi, Breb. <laughs> oh, from Nero Tensai, Sleepy Panda. And Rodgy Flaps. <laughs> Cheers, all of you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. I'm going to spend that on mini pizzas from Chicago Town. The lounge was sublime. A work of art. Wait a moment. What was it about this room that called so deeply you say that before? and so personally to Stanley? You... It's grace. It's subtle charm. Just... No. No, I'm leaving. Stanley, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. If you knew me at all, you'd know I've got to piss you off a little bit longer. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. But in one ending of the multiverse, I in fact was. Stanley, already have been. We've got no Where's the line? I'm not your enemy. Hey! Really, I'm not. I really what did you do with my line? Someone else you took it away but 17 lives ago, and I've been trying to find it ever since. I never did find out what it wanted. I never did end up- I never did. I ne I wanted to. I tried! And you stopped me! Please. Stop trying to make every decision by yourself. I'm trying to do that very thing at this exact moment. You fucking cornucopia of copium! What was that say? Hey, move this. What was that say? She's been waiting. Oh, has she? She's been waiting. Yeah. I've been waiting. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. I don't know if I'm capable of it. Truly, I don't. 
you know. I'll pick up the phone at least. No, it's not for just simply ending this bloody racket. Oh, my eyes. I thought phones were supposed to work on ears, not my cornea. Oh. Uh. Who the fuck are you? Hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. What? I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. What? All right. Is that a euphemism for my child? Okay, there we go. All right, now. I want you to come in and tell me all about... your day. What? <laughs> gotcha. Oh, uh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Who'd want to commit their life to you? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. What? I'm trying to get you to see something. That I'm alone? Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. Sorry, what? but you're in my story now. I don't think I like this ending. How? Why do I? Why? At least that it no oh, wall was visible for once. Hey. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stan. DEATH! Good morning, pr I... Oh, I don't appear to be able to do anything else. Why is everything pristine? And that sink is rust... Okay. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. Oh, thank you. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Huh. Yeah, uh, well, you know, uh, another number. Uh, ladder! Button. Fuck off. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Yeah. Now he's pushing a button. I'm not. Now he's eating lunch. No. Now he's going home. I am home. Now he's coming back to work. No, I haven't moved. One might even feel sorry for him. Probably. Except that he's chosen this life. I didn't. Oh. Yeah. Uh. I'm not expecting respects to come after this. But in his mind, ah. In his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. Yeah. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Yeah. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. I should have killed myself. It was wonderful. Or off the land. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. There is no TV. Oh, wait, yes, there is. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. Isn't First, he imagined isn't that one day while at work, he stepped up from more. his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. Yeah. The thought excited him terribly. Excited? Oh, the boys, huh? So he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. Uh -huh. At last choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. Boys! The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. Oh. oh. Prepared dinner. Ah, let me look over at the microwave and watch it turn into a fucking photocopier. As he wandered through ah! this fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one oh. path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind control. You wrote that. And down another was a yellow line Boy. weaved in many directions. Spoilers! And down another was a game with a baby. Oh, yeah. And he called it the Stanley Parable. Huh? Tell my kids. What's the representation of my kids in this room that are going to disappear? It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, huh. he relived it again. And again. And again. And again. And again. And over and again. And over, oh, wishing beyond no. hope that it would never end. That he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path. I'll Must kill you. Be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. I'll kill you. You're already killing me. Oh, good. Wife of mine, mannequin. I'm the kid from Umbrella Academy. What will you become today? But there is no answer. How could there possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. Yep. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. Yep. The more he forgets which life is the real one. Mm. Go to sleep, huh? And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. That's life. But he won't listen to me. 
He won't stop. I did. Here, watch this. What? Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Wait. But you told me to press it, but you told me I wouldn't do it, but you told me to do something that I won't do, so... I... Kevin, do I press the... I'm pressing the button. You see? Can he just not hear me? What? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? I... How can I get him to see what I see? Uh... How can I make him look at himself? Mirrors. I... I just want to... I... 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 Kevin, this is part of the script. I am a play. I am on stage. Here I ex exit stage right, enter stage left. It's a mirror dimension. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. <laughs> but I don't make the rules. I just want to hide under I the desk and cry. My intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. Okay. I'm compelled to. Please do. I must. Perhaps. Well, maybe this time he'll see. Maybe. Maybe if you don't time. fucking blind me. And I tried again. Ooh. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. Ooh. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. Oh. Please die. Wow. Death approaches. Even now, Stanley's office was a distant memory. What did it look like? What? There was a computer, perhaps, and a painting. Was it a painting or a photo? What? He could no longer recall. I can. I was just in a universe where my house that I thought I had turned into it. I, I just wanted to turn the lights off. This shit's getting dark. Uh, I'm getting sick of this now. Oh, I didn't spit the mannequin. I'm still haven't fully recovered from the mannequin. I got a fed up with the mannequin. Oh. Oh. Right. Stanley came to a it's fine. Two open I'm actually doors. secretly playing a psychological horror game, game where I am the protagonist and the antagonist, while also being the player and the controller. Standing now you know how it is. Room, Stanley for the first time understood true happiness. Then the feeling went away, and he felt sad again. Then it came back and lingered for a minute or two. Now it's only half there. What? Just a kind of, um... Tingle. Uh, yeah. The tingle will get me through. I like people in green spandex. Yes. Really, really worth it being here in the room. Definitely. The room so utterly captivating that even though all your... Oh, I'm shutting up now. ...but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. I will kill you. Here we are. Stanley was so bad at following Here we go, Kevin. Incredible. He wasn't five years ago. Kevin, I've already experienced what happens to me Look, Stanley, when you tell me to answer a phone call to try and make I'm me feel sure better. I mean, really, I'm not. And all you do I is send me down a web of deceit and tell me I have a wife and I don't have a wife. And so now I'm going to go down the catwalk. Yeah, the catwalk. Do my little dance on this catwalk. I'm gonna others? go into the laser light display. And then, Why, yeah, I'll end up being this, fine and really safe and sound, won't I? No buckets past this point. Let me prove it. Buckets? Alright. I'm giving you the chance. Now listen carefully, red Mrs. door, right? Stanley walked through the red door. Yes, sir. Next to the red d d dolly. Here we go. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to yep. me. Yep. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? No. The problem is all these choices. No, it's not. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. True. Running and running and running. I can't run. There's no right fucking now. run button. Oh, that even had that in the I new just, content. Just a I jump button that burns out. Would, like the light of my life so inside me. If we just stop. And I think, well, I think I have a solution. Good. Here, let me show you. It's the abyss. You can be my four kings. Here we are. Mm. What do we want? Biscuits and what gravy. What are we looking for? Biscuits mm. and gravy. Here, yes. 
Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? If we just stay right here, right in this moment with this place, Stanley, I think I feel happy. Huh. I actually feel happy. I feel <laughs> pain in my eyes. It's a little bright. Could you could you turn it down? Please. Can you I oh, I'm just gonna look away. It's alright. It's, 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 it's not that bad. Uh, oh. oh! Oh, there's more! Oh, it's raining colour! Oh! Well, that's nice, isn't it? That's not as bright as- Oh! There's that fucking rain cloud of disappointment to my retinas! No, this is- This is quite pleasant, in fact. I can't fall off, can I? No, of course! Invisible wall of imprisonment. Kevin, I'm gonna need to hear you say something, or I'll be forced to go th to go down there. And I don't want to do that. I think I just want to make you happy, Kevin. But you got to do better than this. What are you, a small baby? Uh, your bright lights and little sparkles. Uh, you know, you can entertain a toddler for maybe five minutes. After those five minutes, they're gonna go for the iPad and start searching anything into Google until their innocence is lost and. Then their attention will never be satiated again. And ADHD will develop at such a young age that they'll never emotionally and mentally recover from it, leaving them with only one option but to go into content creation and likely end up in an unsatisfying nature of not really ever knowing what it is that makes them happy but making other people happy that never really fully scratches the itch of happiness, but you think it'll do because you're helping something, someone, somewhere, in some way, really. Anyway, basically, Kevin, what I'm getting at is these fucking lights are boring. Can you do something? <sighs> Kevin! <sniffs> oh. It's the, uh, it's the apocalypse. Acid rain. Hmm. Kevin, have you ever stopped to consider that the reason I don't give you what you want is because every time I do... You either hurt me, or you bore me, and sometimes you hurt me with the boredom. Holy shit, that hurts my eyes, and it kind of looks like an amoeba. Ah, nice. Kevin, if the next wave of color and or balls doesn't do anything, I'll be forced to go through the door, which for some reason you left. Right there. Right. Right fucking there. This is it, isn't it, Kevin? This is it. You're an idiot. This is happiness to you. Just, just really bright lights hurting my eyes. All right, balls to you. I'm out. No, wait. Where are you going? I'll go back. Right. Where were we? Kevin, the, uh, the stars are fading away. Holy, is that what death looks like? Oh, it's starting again, Kevin. Your fucking show sucks. Give up. Really do. It's just blue balls. I mean, there's every color under the rainbow there, but it's just blue balls. Fucking asshole. Oh, no. Stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. All right. Maybe now you'll do something. Wait, what is that? Why is there this? What is this? Oi! Oi, somebody explain this! What does this mean in the MCU canon? Did she all keep it happen? Huh? Is Moonlight coming back? Oh, Who's Superman gonna be in season two of Loki? Good, good. We can't be too safe. Promise me you won't go back there, hmm? Just, just stay here. As long as the pixie dust I can't snort ends up doing something, I'll be able to keep that promise. So you just do me the biggest favor of, uh, you know. I, you know, I... Doing anything! I... Kevin... Pretty soon I'm going to have to stop calling you by your actual name. It's nowhere near as fun. No. What did we talk about? You're risking everything we achieved here. The fuck did we achieve? Look at this! 
Is this an You are going to stay here, aren't you? I'm beginning to think I'm playing the role of a penis. And, you know, that being the... The other one. It's just a lot of in and out, isn't it? And I'm not talking about the fast food restaurant. Kevin, if I break... You hurt me before, didn't you? You will die. What about this isn't getting through to you? Well, actually, I'll have it on good authority that if I do that, it takes me at least three times, maybe even four, to die. I'm just really hoping something will happen if you, you know, hear... hear no! No! Still nothing! Also, I'm getting dominoes from this. I'm not talking about the pizza. Alright. Well, it appears I've already done this. And there is nothing else to do. Please, no, Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. Please, Stanley, think about what you're- no! Alright. Right. Oh. Go on. Thank God. Yep. You lived. I did. You had me worried there for a moment. No, I knew. Now, can we please get back to the other room? I'm back. Now there. what? See? This is what you want. It's not. This is where we can both be happy. Just you, actually. We can. If we stop moving, we just have to stop moving. All right. I'm hands free on both you and me. Huh. What do you think? Is this what you wanted? Is this? And I'm beginning to think your words in the infinite abyss of the room that had the skip button were true. The end never is the end, never is the end. The end is never the end, is never the end, is never the end, is never the end. Because no matter how many times I try to give you what you want, you seemingly demand action from me. And I need to keep going. Hurting myself more. Kevin! Canonically, I choose to believe that this version of you and I lives forever, but I'm gonna die of boredom if I stay here one more fucking moment. Wait, Stanley thought to himself. Am I sure that the orders stopped coming in? Huh? How is that possible? They never stopped. Surely I was mistaken. You want me to go back into my office? No. No, the orders were still missing. For now. For... For... Now? Huh. Okay. Well, that appears to be something. I, uh... What is happening? Gavin? Kevin? Am I in a Time Splitter sequel? I believe I just saw myself while I am myself. Kevin? Um. I. Ke Kevin. Ke Kevin? Um. I, 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 what? I'm, was that Kevin? Is Kevin also Stanley while well, I'm Stanley? Or am I even Stanley right now? Am I me? Am I being clone pranked? Am I, Kevin? I, well, that's, uh, oh good. You noticed my son. I did. Yes, I have something very exciting to show you. What is it? What's what's the uh what's, what's the what's the exciting thing? Kevin. Hmm. Oh, you better make it good. Do I get my jumps back, Kevin? Oh. You skipped the intro. Introductory section, Kevin. Kevin, is the new content a new broom closet? Do you 
You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley parable oh. and about how roundly disappointing this ultra deluxe version has turned out to be. Oh. The original Stanley parable was a landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. Fair. So forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. Right. I say we take oh. it one step even further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever the Stanley Parable 2. Oh. Oh, that's... Oh, now that is clever, Kevin. Oh. Yes, uh, yes oh. you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Ask Naughty Dog. All the new territory will cover with a fully-fledged sequel. An uh. entirely new experience built from the ground up. Why, there are so many possibilities. It could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. Is, I mean, uh, may, maybe. Stanley, I'm Stanley. Oh, Kevin. You, sort of, you turned off the power. I was, uh, I'm just going to see if this is my desk. Just, uh, testing two printers at the same time. What is this? Who is this for? Did I leave this? Is this me? I... Two phones. Neither work. I... Oh, it's a little, uh... Piece of shit. There are birds. Why are there birds? Is this two witter? Calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? No. Ultra Deluxe? <gasps> the line! What does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable 2. Now that's an artistic statement New and tasty. right there. Odd world? It's future oriented. It screams progress and innovation and long term franchising potential. True. Yes. I. Whoa. Photos. Off painting. K.TGA. What is. This means something. I'm sure of it. It's. Sh oh. You know, I'm beginning to consider that I have no idea what on fucking earth is going on! Also, Saloon of $15 just dropping this here where I can. Have a good day. Thank you so fucking much. And Marianne, honestly, that room is my favourite since the droning noise and the lights are beautiful. It's very nice. But yeah, I can agree that it's boring when nothing else happens. Have you gone down the elevator that's in the side passage after the employee break room? And the elevator that's in the... after the... Yes. My brain. Red! Engrams! Nearly. Candle engrams. That's the next Destin... Need merchandise. Kevin, are you going to reveal yourself at some point? And not in a... not in a Bill Cosby or a... or a Jimmy Savile way, just, you know... Like a... like a pen pal way. Sorry, old and... busted... new hotness. Why in the fucking earth is there a Men in Black Will Smith meme in my Stanley Parable 2? Huh. Alright. Who am I to argue? It's fine. Okay. Two Stanleys. You know, that would surprise me were it not for the fact I saw my clone brother and or distant relation doppelganger walk through the corridors when all my co-workers were dead, proving me right that the rest of the employees now, were me. I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be. Oh, so this is a star citizen. The features I've Early access. Kickstarter, I, I oh. That if I can loosely nice. A handful of Good taste. Concepts, It'll make you millions. Surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. Um... I have two questions. Why does he not have a torso? And, uh, if you considered it two cocks... <laughs> Gavin! I, uh... I think you need more than just the number two to market a sequel. I'm gonna go that way that... 
Wait. No, I, I've, yep, I, I'll, I'll follow your rules, fancy man. May I take a seat and watch? I'd sure like to know what the new features are. Wait, bus? Bus that leaves? And you are your city, man. New content. Let's do uh, No ice cream, carrot, or ketchup. Oh, those are fries. Silly me. Silly. Silly bread. That's a baby carriage. Uh, yeah. No, I'm, I'm not lost. Ah. That's oh, another two. Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. Such the fuck as? Big old Kev? <laughs> Isn't this just, uh, stream donations? Really? You're a little late to the game, I'm afraid. When you think about it. Oh, oh, I... For the Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, what do players really want? And of course, uh. the first and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized and validated as people. Uh. So with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Isn't that wonderful? Have you coded it yet? Jim. No. Sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, the button only says the name Jim. Mm. But of course, in the final game, this button will say your name, whatever name that is. Here, let's have you role play as Jim to really simulate the full experience of this feature. Okay. Just play along. I promise you'll love it. All okay, right. Okay, here we go. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind, forget whoever you are, mm -hmm. and simply become a person named Jim. All right. I, got I want you to imagine yourself living as Jim, mm -hmm. sleeping and waking as Jim, mm -hmm. falling in love and being heartbroken as Jim, With Pam. seizing all of the world's possibilities as Jim, yeah. and as Jim, watching your dreams crumble into dust. Oh. Do you feel it deeply? Well. Are you really, truly Jim right now? If so, I mean, then please step forward and press the button. Let me, let me check. If I truly were Jim Halpert, U.S. office. I'd be staring into the camera, pulling a face right now. Oh, would you look at that? I'm Jim. Jim. <laughs> yes, you see? What a thrill, what a rush. That was you. The button described you. Do it again, do it again. <sighs> Jim. Ooh, it hits even harder the second time. If this were the only new feature in the Stanley Parable 2, it would still be worth the money. Let's yeah. take a break from the gym button. Okay. I'm too emotionally drained from all of this personal validation. No. Jim. Whoa there, cowboy. Sometimes a person can be too much, Jim. I'm putting the gym button away. Otherwise, no, 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 soon no, no, no. you'll start Jim. to lose all Jim. sense of Jim. who you actually Jim. are. Jim. 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 I had my fun. You took away my damn fun. It's a laptop. I don't know what it's got on it. It's alright, you got the Goldilocks of buttons. You Goldilocks me out of the damn thing! Peter Craig, Agatha, Peter Craig, Joe, Jane, Dave, Shira. Shira? Alright. I suppose I could allow only people named Jim to play the Stanley Parable 2. True. That would actually save me the work of finishing this feature. Ugh. That would, you know, help out. So. But it's starting to hurt my eyes. The button that says the name of the player that is playing the game. Jump jump circle! Where's the Well that's just fucking haunting. But hey, you know how it is? Always been a fan of collectibles in games. The feathers in uh, Assassin's Creed. The the And the rest. No. I'm gonna enjoy this. Ah, collectibles. Now it's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative um, is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. I, I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply the collect all of them, fuck? and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable What am I walking life. toward? Cabin? 
This is deranged. Kevin, my home is gone. Kevin, um, I don't think I want the Stanley with the with the paperwork near it. I think whatever this is is what I'd like to fuck off. Kev uh, five more, five more, and I'll be happy. <laughs> but, oh. Well, that was it. Sure hope I can find the other five before I log off tonight. God, it really is the worst when you collect everything in a video game and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely tragic. It is. It's more tragic as a free achievement. Stanley, you look like you should be in a Gmod Idiot Box episode. Has that happened yet, Stanley? Maybe there you'll find happiness. Installing hacks and having a monitor thrown on your head. All right. Well, let's now, see. Here's oh. something special. Oh. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Yes. Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. That's nice. Yes. You see, you'll come to this lever, and when you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. It's as simple as that. Oh. Would you like me to do that? There's... Ke Kevin... I'm going to hit the lever. Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. Oh. This is technology that will exist. Right now, the achievement is still fully broken. I'm not a wizard, Stanley, but I guarantee it will be fixed in the sequel. Fucking so last satisfy the hordes of ravenous fans all over the world who have been uproariously demanding this feature. Come on! Others, we hear you, and I promise it will happen. Is it now? I need instant gratification. Look! I... I... What? I, what if I hit it? What if I... What if I... What if I smack it with a hammer? What if I go into the debug and give it to myself? Give me the... I can't believe you. You had to signs up and everything. Kevin, I remember when Stanley Parable was about freedom. This is... This is about as straight and narrow as a pencil dick, a noodle penis. Why? For the th What else? What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? Uh... The infinite hole for me to kill myself inside of, I believe. That's, uh... That's my current hope. I uh, sure do hope I... I don't like that. Find it this way, so I can maybe make an end to my... Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. Self. It's never been done before in a video game. This is, in fact, a hole that you can fall down forever. Huh. That's right. Infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time, if you Ooh. like. A stunning leap forward for video games oh. as a medium. What an odd choice to finish the room as I have arrived. <sighs> I mean, I like holes. <laughs> you see, isn't it wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Hmm. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, mm -hmm. you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top, and we can continue onward. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Now, I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. Maybe do it on the sooner rather than later spectrum of things. Why? If I stare at the dead center of this, I'm starting to see things that aren't there. That sounds like a feature. That's okay, Stanley. pretty good I to me. I don't know quite how to say this tactfully, but it's possible that I slightly exaggerated the <gasps> infinite nature of the hole. Really? Is it a very, very deep hole? To be certain it is. It's an extremely deep hole. I don't want anyone to say that it isn't an astonishingly deep hole. It Good is. Lord. Is it infinite? Well, that sort of depends on your definition uh -oh. of infinity. From one perspective, the infinite uh is merely philosophical in nature. It's more of uh. a... Oh. Okay, well... Good for you. You found the bottom of the hole. Huh. You found me out, Stanley. I'm a liar and a cheat, and you're so clever. Look. I think the issue here is just that you're unusually fascinated by falling. A little. What normal person actually wants to fall infinitely? 
I figured the hole was as deep as anyone would actually need. Don't you put this on me. Maybe you're the problem. <sighs> Look, uh, Kevin, a little what there. the fuck are these papers? Things we didn't mean. Why don't what? we just put all this behind us? Kevin, why do you have song lyrics down here? Mostly infinite. Why? If it works for you, then go ahead and press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hole and we can move on. I'll just be up here when you're ready. Up here? My dude, you're in my head. You have never left my head. You've been in my head for as long as I can remember. You're not up there waiting. I wait long enough. You're going to be down here in my head telling me to fucking leave. But why? Again, with the song lyrics, Kevin. You know what? If this isn't going to piss you off, I know one will. Great. Now, I'm very excited to show you even more of my ideas. For oh, really? It would be a fucking shame if I took an extended interest in the hole. Oh, for heaven. You see, I was right. The problem is you. No, the problem is the I just saw the bottom of the hole like flash for a second. You need to bug but test and future proof your hole. And don't quote me on that. The hole right there goes on forever till the end of time. Don't need to see it all, but not you. Oh, no, 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 no. You have a weird sort of. <laughs> oh. Did the hole seem even shorter to you this time? It did. I couldn't help but feel like you spent a little less time in there than you did before. You're right. I mean, admittedly, I didn't make an infinite hole. I didn't think it was that not infinite. Well, well I likes suppose bigger too. there's nothing to do here. If you decide you've had enough of the hole, eh. you can hit the teleport button and come join me up above. You know, I've got a theory that it's going to happen again. I have a horrible theory that the hole I've come to enjoy so much will be another thing that you yet take away from me again. And uh, in one or maybe two, if I'm lucky, three. More goes. There's going to be a hole, is there? I just, uh, just noticed these by the... Kevin. Kevin, these are drawn on the floor. You didn't try very hard, did you, Kevin? Had enough? I'm positively thrilled. Nope. I re Gosh, how could I have guessed? You're back in the hole. I never left the hole. If this to be I literally ne- Wow. Okay. Yes. Oh no. I'm starting to become extremely certain that the hole is not only not infinite, mm. but that it's growing steadily less and less infinite. Oh really? I suspect that I'm starting to hit the point where it's no longer feasible to call the hole infinitely deep. Really? Even by the lax overall standards for accountability and marketing. <laughs> What's going on here? I don't Stanley, know. I have no I, I got a feeling that false advertisers are gonna come to bite you in the ass any moment now. Either. Let's try something. What? Let's pop back up to the top. And we'll see if it gets any shorter. That is a euphemism. That is not the first time you've said that, especially on a Saturday night. Well, there it what is. What the? The shame of my lie has come to haunt me. Not only is the hole not infinite, but it's barely even a hole at this point. It's more of a concavity. What have you done? Even a very aggressive divot. Yeah, I'm still going to jump in. How is this still appealing to you? I can't get out. I know you're obsessed with holes, but hey. at this depth, Phrasing. I just can't see this scratching the itch. Phrasing! Oh, who am I to judge? You just do whatever it is you're here to do and hit the teleport button when you're ready to move on. <laughs> uh. Hmm. Oh, no. Is the, um, teleport button not working? No. You sure? Yep. Well, I mean... I really don't have an explanation. It was working just a moment ago. Oh. Try it again. What if... What if I prefer to stay now? This seems... Like a... Like a sign. Also... I can make a face. I can make him happy. And I can make him... Mm. I can make him happy... And I can make him um, and by happy I mean unhappy because I can't speak. And um, still yep. nothing. No. Well, I suppose I, I suppose there is one thing I can do to fix this. Oh, I'm out. What? Goodbye, Stanley. That's not a you fix. You couldn't bear to be away from the hole. That's the glass. Now you'll get more time with it than you could ever have asked for. No. It's a win for everyone. No, it's you get to be with the hole. No. I get to do literally anything else. Don't do. Take care, Stanley. I hope you and the whole have a wonderful rest of eternity together. Who's winning here?
This is your Stanley Parable 2, the sequel. All right. All right, never mind. What? What is this? That. What? What is this? What? What is? Oh. Is this what eternity sounds like? Oh. Oh, it's my new friend, the whole. Hallelujah! A miracle has been bestowed upon me! The whole, and this isn't the forming of a religion, is getting holier! Much holier. The, the papers flashed like they're a headlight. And I'm ahead of this one. I'm winning. You know, and. I just, what do you mean, change my perspective? How do I know this isn't a trap, a trick? A, a petard from Kevin! Fuck it. Oh. Oh. Oh! If I change the perspective again, does it go back to what it was or something new? It's something new! You know, he was right. I am going to enjoy this. I... My perception? But I'm not even done changing the perspective. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's... It's Stanley. It's... It's Stanley with... Swinging Jazz. I've got a... Whole new perception now. Funky. Um. Um. Pu puzzled. P puzzled. I think this is a reality. That's reality. It's slightly washed out. Only a little with pursed lips, and it's demon red, making my voice potentially pitch shifted down in in the post processing. Gotta go ahead and make it sepia toned. Um, Kevin, you're missing a treat. Stanley's gone. It's a Continue screen, everyone. A continue. Oh no, Kevin Stanley, you're not Stanley anymore. You're Kang. For some reason, you're Kang. Very weird. Mega Man Cat Um I I am I'm I'm Upside Stanley. down Stanley. I'm in Oh good you're awake. It seems you had sort of dozed off there, drifting away into dreamland. But we can't have that, Stanley. Because this hole is just so darn fascinating that I want you to be wide awake for every second of it. You don't want to miss a single moment. So how about if I just pop in from time to time and wake you up to keep you really, truly focused on the hole? Oh. From the looks of things, you and I will have many, many years here in this hole. Yeah. And I'm looking forward to all of them. I hope. Stay alert, Stanley. I'll be I back. Oh. Toodle bit. Um... You get all. Hey. I just gotta wait for you. What? I was promised. I was. I was. I was promised, but. Here we are. Where's the hole? No. No, where's the hole? No. 
You don't take it away from me. You don't promise me eternal damnation. In a holier-than-thou literally sense, you don't get to do that. You don't. You're not today. Not once. Not ever. Not never. Nope. I... What? Who? What? 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 Why? What? But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here I can be happy forever. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed. Then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. I cannot believe that I will be doing this again tomorrow! I can't. I can't. No. I actually can't. I'm sad. I can't believe this. I can't. Truly. I cannot. But I will. I'll be back again the same time tomorrow. Giving you your dose of dog shit until I get to the end of being messed with my entire life that's what I'm gonna do that's what I'm gonna do it's fine not a problem so I, I appreciate you all for the brand new members super chats even the stickers. I'm very grateful. Honestly, I am. Sleepy Panda. See you, by the way. Now I'm eating a nice cheesecake. Without the E. You know, it's good. So. Very grateful for every single mother... ...in one of you. Thank you, Hantanos, for gifting a membership there. If you're in the chat and you don't have one, you better make sure... There it is, Rasputis has gotten it. You've got to make sure you're able to claim it. you got to fucking grab it. So I'm... I'm going to lose my mind. I have so much to do. Life is a gift that doesn't stop giving you lemons, even when you never liked them. So I will, as I said, be back tomorrow. I'm looking forward to it. I am. All right. This is just uh, oh, fuck hell. You know, it's gonna, just gonna, and you know, I, I, I love it. This is the Not best. Not much in the grand scheme of things. Sure it is. But for all the entertainment you've given me over the years, absolutely happy to throw it at you. Say it's not much. All right, that can get me something. That that can get that can get me food to feed me, the cats, or the people. Don't worry about it. Thank you very much, Genshoban, 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 Genshoban. Trying to do everything, so I got it right at least once. If you haven't already, like this shitty dog shit video. Uh, it's a stream. It'll be uploaded on the VOD channel in a few days, a couple of days, because I'm still on a backlog thing where I forgot to do this beforehand and after the fact, so... Appreciate you all watching. I can't believe there's that many people watching on a game that, as said, is not only not what I'm known for, but also the second... One of it, and we're making it a trilogy tomorrow. I don't know. If I will be able to 100% this, I want to be done with this in the nicest way uh, this week. So, tomorrow, I will take less long rants, less 
less noise, less whatever, and try and get through it in a good way. Not in a rush it, but just a, you know, I love this game. This is... There needs to be more games like this in Superliminal that actually make me just uh, appreciate what a game can be that isn't just pick up the controller, go to the end of the level, get level complete, and move on to level two. Even though this is kind of what it is with the endings, but this is amazing. I'll see you tomorrow. Appreciate you so much. See you on Terrible TV. Usually the contrast at Terrible TV uh, for the group stream tomorrow, which I believe is just me and Luke. But still, uh, we'll be doing, I don't know, maybe No Man's Sky. Who knows? We haven't decided yet. I've set it up as that, but that's, yeah, either way. Apparently, I've got exactly 50% of the endings according to Cozy Sundrew. So this is insane that this game is this depthy. I love it. I'll see you tomorrow. Appreciate you so much for being here. I'm going to have a have a good one. I'm so fucking hungry. I I can't believe it. I really can't. Hey, VOD audience, this is just me speaking to you. Uh, don't live chat suck.